to do. Huh? Now we're live. That happened. They're live. I'll be able to switch in. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, there yeah, we, we are. are. Hey. All right. That's alright. I cheered us like five minutes ago, so. I saw that. Look at that overlay. That's yeah, a beautiful I like one. It look too bad. Yo, I'm not. Oh, uh, it's switched. If you watch like the uh, right the left hand side on the Twitch stream, wait for the graphic to switch again. Whenever it decides, it kind of almost lines up with the uh, whatever panel you have sitting there. And oh yeah, yeah. Squeeze it down from the top just a little bit. Line it up good. Let me, um, I'm gonna kill my camera. I'm gonna show my wife what the vet just said, and it's low stress, so that's good news. But so she could go to bed. That is good. So I'll, be, I'll be right back, guys. Alright. Oh, shit. So. Who is anybody filled in the dock on what's going on? Nope. I have two Kevins now. What? I was we just going to say that, used like, an extra Kevin. <laughs> I honestly was just about to tell you the whole story and then be like, and it all started when Kevin threw up. Kevin threw up the nanites. <laughs> so I don't know what you did to your little plant creation, but he's now part metallic and he's going to destroy the universe. I don't know whether to fear you as a god or be like, that's fucking awesome. Lola Ball. Are you serious? I'm kind of... No, it was a scientist, but that would have been badass if it was Kevin, wouldn't it have? Yeah, because I'd have been so proud. I'd have been like, I'd have, that, I would have been a proud dad. And if you would have tried to kill Kevin, I probably would have died kill, trying to kill all of you somehow. No, 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 not Kevin, like the weird little zombie, the nanite zombie creature that's heading towards this planet we're chasing. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about, like, my Kevin did some shit to you guys, and no, man, I'd have been sad. We would have fought. No. Kevin's fine. We're chasing Kevin's nanite fine. zombies. These zombies of nanites. Why? Because they're bad nanites. Well, I can do cybernetics now, so they would be awesome to have. Nice. Yeah, my goal is to be able to do like all of our augmentations and shit. I just need to pick my next. Training skill for that. Hey, I'm back. Did I ruin the stream when I killed my camera? I wasn't even thinking when I did it. No, I shouldn't have. I haven't even looked. Hold okay. Uh, nope, everybody's still good. Holy shit, look at that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're good. Vet's good. Wife's happy. That's, how we That's even it. bonus. Mm hmm Hell yeah. So what's the date today? Give it to you one second. Okay. All right. So I, I bumped it a week because I know we made a jump. And I don't. It was a late session last time. I don't remember if I, sh if I moved the calendar. So you guys might be getting a freebie on training. Well, I had us at 173 on EX, on XE. All right. Okay. So then, uh, so what? Because I I know I'm made in the notes that we're heading to Corden. If we go to Corden, that'll be the uh, date then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This 
ship of fools. Oh. We are on the uh, uh, Diamond Falcon. I'm the Diamond Falcon. I'm just making yeah. sure. I don't remember how we got this ship. I thought you guys, I thought this was your guys' ship. This ain't your guys' ship? It is, my, it's my ship. Oh, okay. Because we let our homeboys take off in the other one so they could go do some trading because we were supposed to go back to Janax and like start hashing out some plans to buy some like orbital defense ships and start a revolution or a civil war. I mean, they're about the same thing, aren't they? I guess it depends on what side you're on. The winning side. Hey, and by the way, today is Ford Day. Ford Day. That's why I suggest we just go ahead and sell the both sides. Isn't that cute? I was wondering, though, while we're floating through space and we got this week's time, why don't we try to maybe appeal to that young Aslan boy that we ousted to let that old bastard take over that farming planet maybe instead of like him taking over tech world you know he um chips in and maybe runs protection or something of the such and then he gets the tech that he wants and tech world gets its freedom right and freedom is from jetico the general development corporation yeah, but we still get our 1% of all total profits that the world makes for one year. That's once a month, right? Or is that just total at, at like, whatever? No, I said, I said 1% annually for 10 years. So from the time that they win the war and they become their own independent nation and they start their own GDP, one calendar year from that time, I'm expecting our first payment. You realize, like, if we ask for this, we're probably not, we're not getting paid for a year, right? Credit's a thing, right? I mean, it is. I'm just saying they can't have a GDP without having a fiscal year. You don't get the GDP. I mean, we could have <laughs> quarterly reviews. But yeah, I'm not against quarterly sure. reviews. I'm just for the annual payout. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we get like against their estimated earnings, right? Shares, stocks, bonds. Mm. We realize it's going to be so chaotic for the first 10 years. They're going to cheat us. We're really going to end up with maybe half a percent, right? Probably. Yeah. I know that's what I would do. A half a percent of a right? world's what I would do. <laughs> economy? Well, yeah. Yerp. I wouldn't give us a, but you know what? Half a percent of a of a burgeoning economy. That's I'll take that. That's enough to go to that one luxury casino and place I heard about. Yeah, I gotta get there. There's some people there I need to kill. So floating along in my spaceship. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, do we want to give a recap? I know Josh wasn't at the last one, and you know, for anybody Holy that's shit, watching. Jock, did, did Kevin and the crazy doctor here? Jesus, I did. I thought I'd left <laughs> you guys on the other ship. No, I, oh, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, if you guys, yeah, you're on the Diamond Falcon because it was fast. The Antelope's getting the repairs at. Um, Tech world, Tech you're world. doing your final repairs, uh, and then the Zephyr is on a uh, cannonball run, getting some cores light somewhere. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. So the um, at Tech World, the you guys. Um, it's called the technocracy there where they offered you guys uh, or are trying to encourage you to bring two. Was it two ships, two system defense boats? Hold on. I got my notes. I'm doing this off the top of my head. 
This is all from the computer story. Once, once you get the number, let me know. But then, um, four system defense boats. Four system defense boats. And they, at least 300 system, tons each. Yeah. And system defense boats don't have J drive, so you have to have it shipped in order to transport it. Coincidentally, you guys have a massive ship in Drynax. Right now, the old um, the Martin III, I think it was called. The uh, Good old, uh, treasure, treasure ship. ship. Yeah. So you have you have the ability to get it there. Um, you have to get with King Oleb and, and securing those those boats or uh, procuring them yourselves somewhere else. It's up to you guys. The scientists there. There's a pair of scientists from what planet are they from? Um, uh, began with an L, didn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up. Mm, has to do with the Shield Church. Remember, oh man, I shared that huge story entry. Let's see if I got it. Yep, Shield Church. Shield, yep. System Newman. Newman, that's it. I kept good notes. Uh -huh. Yeah, you did. Yeah, so there is a... Boy, that's, that was a long read. Um, basically, the Shield Church is protecting, protecting <coughs> people from a nanite... Uh, infestation. Evil That's the brass swarm. tax. And they yeah, have but... a good nanite swarm that eats the evil nanite swarm. Well, that's what Dr. Jolly may have. Right, but Dr. Jolly got self-infected with it. And now, Dr. Jolly is infecting other people with it, we think, based on the derelict ship you guys found and bumped into the gas giant to destroy it to make sure <laughs> it went it went very uh expanse like yes it did it is, yes like, it did so he got infected and then he's going around infecting others so he can control this infection like he's i got to learn how he did this well we well, well, we don't know yet it's that's not yeah, it's, him. it's vague it's it's I, we believe it's the nanites, oh, yeah. not that, made, that makes more sense. Not, this is a biological per se, or at least didn't start that way. I'm still learning that, so I'm just starting to dabble in those. All right, I'm going to pull out my tarot cards there, Ref. Give me a task difficulty, I'm just going to roll it blank. And let's see what they say on this whole deal. That's difficulty eight good. Should probably not cover my chat. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I pulled a death card, man. This is not good, guys. I don't know if I'm feeling this one right now. Like, uh, I see you doing this with uh, the tarot cards and in the introduction in Ghostbusters. Are you getting zapped? Yes, pretty much. Uh, Three wavy lines. I can keep you guys alive. Or at least bring you back alive. It's alive. I'll be in the lab. Sitting there eating food, thinking all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh, by the way, uh, Dr. Carl, randomly through the ship, you'll see like three or four of me walking around. You won't be able to tell who's who. Like, it's me, all of them. <laughs> but, like, you'll walk down the corridor, you'll see me walk by. They'll come out, take a look. I'll pass you from a different corridor. They'll try to follow me. I won't be there. Which one has your heat signature and matches your skin type on a cellular level? <laughs> I'm not telling you shit. <laughs> well, you just start walking through them until you find out the right one. Yeah. Oh, pff, got it. No substance. I, I can, can see through that. I can. I have infrared vision, so. Yeah, you're getting your hologram of ideas kind of getting screwed by these guys. Oh, that's these guys. I'm not worried about it. You know, fooling these guys too much, unless they go and start turning things on. 
turning things on. That's one of my specialties. Yeah, I press buttons. You can't stop us from doing that. That's not allowed. Yeah. You can leave the ship. I think I speak for everybody. We are all button pushers. <laughs> you guys can push buttons all day. This is my ship. All three of my Kevins, and yeah. I agree with that. Whoa, whoa. They was dead. They three Kevins? Wait a minute here. <laughs> what do you... This, the ship's getting pretty full of things. <laughs> <laughs> this is the smaller ship. It is. Um, how many, how much can I add to my, how long are we in this hyperspace for? Seven days. Yeah, seven days. How many more of my swarm could I produce in that time? I don't know. If you're like a 16 year old boy, you could probably do it six or seven times a day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pushing it a few at least million ten. Each... <laughs> a few million each time, dude. I'm down. <laughs> at least half of them die as soon as I hit the air, though. Well, no, I'm not like zombie turning them either. I paid good money for every single one. Like I know it was like, oh, I made a hundred. I spent a lot of goddamn money on that hundred. Okay, well, I borrowed a lot of goddamn money <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> on that swarm. Oh, man. That's enough. And paid part of it back. Now I'm going to go make more. I just need to know how many I can make. Oh, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying that. to make like his. I want to use, I'm preferably my, I would like to, uh, use my portable computers five security seven to make them and specifically i'm not going for intrusion i'm going for defense like yeah i kind of read up on it you have it on your inventory oh uh, yeah i know i know what you're thing. saying um Oh, I have the I have the bugs, the TL fifteen bugs. If you go to my inventory, and click on it. Open, yeah, I, I, just, I, I just don't know how much I, I'm allowed to say out loud. How much you're keeping close to you? But oh, um, that's that's what well, I'm, I mean. Uh, they know I'm a robotics and a nanite person. That's not really in question. They all okay. Everybody's wearing okay. So yeah, so yeah. So you're um, either that or they weren't paying well, attention. We were talking nanites. That's not my fault. <laughs> so. I just want a defense from the swarm, is because I know there's two. So we're going to a planet. There's going to be this zombie swarm, which may or may not now know a weakness to this church's the cat. This well, so, never mind. I want to say that this church's swarm that is killing anything else that's on the planet or killing any other nanite technology. And also, from what it sounds like, kind of spying on people and making sure technology stays at a certain level and stagnates everything. Oh, I see what you did. You created 100 of them on your inventory. Like, I was trying to figure out if they do, if they self-replicate. That, that was my question. He self-replicates in the shower. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> they... I mean, I guess they possibly could self-replicate, but I guess I don't know. I've tried to make good ones. I'm, I'm quality over quantity. All right. You're talking about doing it off a of skill check, creating more. That, well, last time I really mechanic... just spent money. Yeah, that, I know. Yeah, but yeah, I know you're talking cost. about you want to... But I mean, I, if you have... Oh, I don't know what the, you have science robotics, and now you have them. So why not try to create more of them using the skill check, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, for that tech level, it's gonna be pretty high. But what we're gonna do is off the effect of this dice roll, then you can get lower tech level replications of them. That makes sense. 
that works for me. So it's we're going to go off a of very difficult um, twelve or higher. You know, effect to zero or higher, you get. I don't know how to how we want to do this. Two D six, right? It's two D six game. Well, that be that's what you do for the day, though. You're gonna lose a day of training. Just maybe lose a week of training. That should. <laughs> then I want two D six times ten. Yeah, a day. <laughs> but because then, otherwise, yeah. I have the money. I might as well just drop the cash. What's the good? What's uh, how many? Uh, I got. I got to see what the actual bandwidth on these tech level ones are. Because maybe what I just do is. You just roll it against a zero. You know what I'm saying? And then, then the effect is the tech level. Right. What they have right now is they, they, they start have... at tech level five and they go up to 15. So right. You make, so you no. make your science check and that's the tech level that you create at 2D6 of them per day. How about that? I'm making up some rules on the fly here, but... I like it. Yeah, sure. We'll give it a shot. Like what was it? it? Science Robotics. Yeah, Merit. All right, so nine. nine. Tech level nine. So two, two D six. Tech level nine. Hmm. You got eight, eight to your inventory for free. Whee. That's kind of your thing. At tech, at tech level nine. Yeah. I gotta see what tech level nine bugs do. Okay. So you could sacrifice a day downtime that way doing this. All right, I'm gonna take a look at the cost. I may or may not keep doing it, but for right now, that's that's cool. Yeah, you're not wrong. So, I mean, yeah, you may, you may as well just buy a shitload again when you go back to Tech World. <laughs> What's the problem having uh, issues replicating? We got some money. I get some replicators. Hmm. I'm just not a big fan of the self-replication ones. They kind of like, you, well, you've seen the obvious problem. <laughs> Virgie, Skype doesn't it love you goes, today, does it? It does well, not. not Virgie, it kind of goes zombie. <laughs> I mean, deck. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other thing. I can't get to the thing that changed my name for some reason, but that's okay. I think you're a new person every time you're in here. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet deck likes it. I should just, yeah, I should just like make it pin the next time I find it. I can never find it. <clears throat> so, I bet it's something you got to change before you connect. Once you're in, I think you're stuck it with it. Be. So, there, Shadow. Um, any ideas on how maybe we can uh, finagle that big old honking Imperial spaceship? To use to haul these uh, three gunboats back to Tech World, you seem to be adamant about not wanting to go back. So I just kind of feel like you know something. I don't, I don't know. I I don't want to go back to that pirate to the pirate ship. I'm cool with Tech World, technically. You don't want to go to uh, the treasure ship. See, we we need help. The treasure ship. Yes. Oh come on! Mm. But we're gonna wait. We need to get that treasure ship loaded up with these gunboats. It's fine as long as no one's in the treasure ship or looking for the treasure ship. There won't be many for long. <laughs> we'll just have yeah. to we'll just have to take them out. I'm okay with that. I'm pretty sure King Ola will have full custody of it by the next time you're there. I hope so. Is he sent he sent out. Um, Emissaries. This planetary. Yeah, I forget what he's. What was that guy's name? The dude that's pissed off at us because we got the fancy ship. Yeah, the the head of the fleet there. Yeah. Didn't know what he's got. Not the fancy ship. Oh, uh, now he's got a pirate <laughs> ship. Actually, yeah. he's got the the big uh, Lord Rax, commander of Dranax's naval fleet. He's now got the Martin Three, essentially. Dang. He's going to be pissed because he's going to get the Martin Three, and we're going to turn around and take that from him, too. <laughs> this gets better and better. 
Oh. So, guys, how are we going to deal with these space zombies? Or space, these nanite vampire things? Like, I'm looking specifically at Jonathan and Dr. Carl. That reminds me. I could give. I could share that image again. It'd be good for the stream. So, my vote is I, we reprogram them. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the other thing is what we don't know. Where's that guy? Didn't we bring a scientist with us? We did bring a scientist with us. Um, and he's not working for the Shield Church. I probed his mind and found out that he's well, not. but that's that could be good or yeah. bad. Well, Lemuel, yeah, Lemmy, Bolin. yeah, we kept calling him Lemmy, Lemmy, Lemmy. Lenny. I keep trying to call him Violin. Like Lenny. <laughs> Let's call him Lenny. Lenny, he's Lenny. So. Do we do we know if they were like the doc the doctor that took off that's heading back to whatever the name of that place is? Um, Newman. Yes. Do we think he's trying to go destroy the Shield Church, or do we think it was like a an unlucky accident? He seemed to be very he seemed to be bent on doing exactly what he did. Well. I think those nanites want to defend themselves against that church, and then he kind of had a personal grudge. You know, you, you got a little bit of chocolate. Well, I mean, on my we don't really you want the little nanites to take over the universe. So, I agree with that. Um, yeah. But yeah, nanites, the, you can't these control. guys are just. I mean, forgive me. I I mostly sharpened my knife through school. But when I was in the Navy, I remember a few classmates that were in the computing program. Can't you, couldn't we possibly teach these things to not replicate? Or like, could we infect them with a virus that will, uh, you know, basically make them sterile? It, can continue. Well, I mean, that's not necessarily out of the question. My, uh, well, exactly when would we be having this part of the conversation? Are we saying Still that all of this happened on day one, or are we now like a day in or two? Oh, you guys are already a jump in. Am I rocketing through? Yeah. The, yeah, because you, you went from bend, Tech World right? to Axie already. Yeah. Well, because pretty much I'm going to tell you what, I made those nanites and I made my own and I tested them. And the ones that I created on the fly cheap, they were nowhere near the quality of the ones that I could make by uh, using the better resources that we have on the ship. So that's one thing I learned. Well, that, it's not like you what got I'm going to focus on. Really this ship, so. Yeah, I do. Well, wait a minute. You're on the Diamond Falcon. Which, yeah, you're not going you, you, oh, yeah, to. On the area, you may get bonuses there, uh, depending on the quality. Yeah. Well, that one, yeah, that one was like a TL-15, I think we figured out, like, freaking what if we lab. Made it together? Mm -hmm. What if I upgraded the software package on them instead? That's just upgrading what's already in place. I don't have to create nothing. And I'll throw money at that, too. Because then it would be like creating like a specialized software package, so it would be like Adding an extra fifty percent to their overall cost. Okay, so uh, but how do you infect them? Uh, that would be the security package. What I'm, I don't know that part yet. I'm talking about right now is giving my is potentially upgrading my nanites so that instead of just being computer ones, they'll be computer one but security three. That's step one. Step two would be the actual defense or delivery package. So, mm. step one is can I upgrade the software package on my nanites? Um, and and you think, Jonathan, really. that that uh, we can disable these things, or do you have? other plans in mind for them. 
right now, I'm mostly just worried about defense. Truthfully, I want that's my biggest goal is I'm going to add it, we'll probably put 99% of all of my nanites with defense software. I just want to defend against them. See if detection, see if they're on the ship, but mostly just defense software. So, my, um, okay. a few brave, a few brave few, if they volunteer, I'll put some infecting, you know, put some infection software. Um, okay, so I don't quite know everything or understand everything you guys are talking about, but you're talking about software, that part I get. But what about hardware? Now, these nanites that we're dealing with have been around for a while and have literally brought a planet to its knees. Are, is, I don't know, your nanites going to be strong enough to at least, like, do physical battle, let alone technological battle with them? Eh, it's not really so much about a physical battle. It really is just more technological battle. It's their, it's a lot of their software versus my software. They're radio controlled beasts. If they got to me, or they got to my nanites and like ate them and turned them into the you know zombie fight them, that mine mine already failed. Whatever. Yeah. The infected the infection software would have already would have already failed at that point. But, like I said, again, I'm going for major defense because even if I make infection software, I <laughs> doubt it's going to be better than what that church has. Because if you're hollering at us, you're muted. Still muted. Well, I know a few things about computers, Jonathan. I'll be glad to help in any way I can, but I certainly am no... <laughs> No uh, nanite engineer. Uh, cool. It's mostly just loading software. If it works, it's just time and money. But how do we deal with the problem at hand? Like these, and I well, time and resources. And I pull out one of my cool little orbs there, and I show the, everybody the picture of this thing as we're flying through hyperspace. Like, how do we deal with these things? Like. Look, it's got claws in its hands, it's sticking to the ceiling, and it looks... Hung and it's naked. You get a picture of one of these things? Yeah. Yeah, this was sure. This was in the ship's computer last uh, last session. I'd share the whole thing. New, the new, it's a long read. The new, new thing? But it gives you a full background of what we're dealing with. But also the corridor on the, on the Vagabond ship. That's what I'm showing all of us sitting around our little dinner table. Like... How do we deal with this thing if we run into more of them? I mean, do we shoot it in the head? Do we, like, do we gotta get wood bullets? Or, like, EMP bombs? Or, I mean, what? Well, my hope is that, theoretically, maybe their nanites work a little bit like mine. They can't travel too far away from, you know, maybe, like, a power source or something like that, or... They get weaker if they do, or maybe if we destroy a big bulk of it, you know, their ability to... So... I have no idea. Conjecture, man. So shoot it in its head. I got nothing for you. Yeah. Okay. Just kill it with fire? Nuclear stabilization of life is always a solution. That was where I was eventually going. Fire kills everyone. Well, it says... I mean, if you get hot enough, you slag even, it. Yeah. Even the nanite tech is evolving, and they're fucking forming their own clans. They can't all be... Uh, right. So, so when he says that, I get up and leave the table uh, and head to the armory. It's not like they're evolving in a sentientness again. <laughs> in my again, think less evolving sentientness. Think more zombie outbreak. I get that, but they're still good no, zombies. I, I still... <laughs> <laughs> Good zombie. You're all The right. nanotech is still s sentient in a form. Like Kevin? It was at one time, and now You're it is not corrupted. Wrong. Again. <laughs> zombie. Well, Kevin, up. Uh... It just so happens that the zombie wants... The zombie nanites want to go kill... The Jack Boo Thug Nanites. So I don't know who I want. It's like, I don't know who I want to win. 
Do I want the Nazi zombies? <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Nazi nanites? <laughs> the zombie nanites. Uh, Iron Sky is all I'm saying. Iron Sky. That's the big one I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, God. I, the, uh... We're, we're yeah, in I'm impasse. I'm for <laughs> killing both sets, but... Um... I mean, to, to the doctor's point, since it is going back to attack its attacker, perhaps it is sentient. Otherwise, why would it care? Thank you. Yeah, um, remember, they were there, Dr. Jolly and Volan were there to, because um, then I research is, is illegal, uh, basically, in the Third Imperium. But... Are we in Imperial um, Territory right now? No. I don't think so. No. Okay. Newman is. Yeah. yeah. Where he's headed, and we're trying Pretty to sure. cut, cut him off at the where, pass. Yeah where, th- yeah, where we think he's heading, yeah. The uh, We're at least on this level. So, this research is being done on Tech World. Um, I think they have a cure, though, for their... the swarm there on Newman. But now it's infected Dr. Jolly, and Dr. Jolly's just raising so far from me, you could tell all kinds of hell, affecting others. Like the zombie. What if. Alright, what if these people are still alive? Like the nanites are just kind of controlling them like the puppets. Did we show him the video? We have video. Yeah, let's show him the video. Oh, yeah, let me go back to this video. <laughs> There's a video? It's a description. It's a, video. <laughs> it's a, des- it's a description. Yeah. <laughs> the animation team is flagging. <laughs> oh, it's been a terrible... Ex- oh, this is how we pinned it that last session. It's been a terrible <laughs> accent. Let's pick on that. <laughs> Fucking government. Uh, no, dude, this, this was legit, like... Accident like he he flash mm-hmm. Bruce Banner himself. I got it. So you guys recovered a partial security camera footage of the lab accident. Doctor Jolly deactivated a lab's link to the rest of Tech World security grid. So this is was only visual. The only visual record of the accident it shows Jolly working with a large machine that anyone with a good science skill can identify as a nanotech containment crucible. He inserts a sample of dangerous swarm nanotech from their home world of Newman, and then inserts a second sample of some custom-designed nanotech. The two samples mix, and a thousand generations of tiny robots crossbreed inside the crucible. Then alarms flash, and the crucible containment fails. The front of the crucible melts away as the nanotech eats through it. Jolly's protective encounter suit fails to protect them, but instead of pulling them apart molecule by molecule, the nanotech infects them. He staggers to his feet, then moves incredibly quickly towards the door. Uh, you catch a glimpse of glowing red eyes for an instant. Yeah, and before he makes his way out, he carves like his fingers down to like bone and blood yep. and writes on the wall uh, the shield church. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Have we, I mean, have we asked the, who's the guy that's riding with us? Can't remember his name. Lemon. He's a lemon. Lenny. 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 Old Lenny. Lenny. Have we asked him his thoughts about disabling this tech? Where's Lenny? I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm, like grab Lenny and scare the, just the life out of him. And try to intimidate yeah, him, and and tell him that I we need to know everything there is to know to shut this down. What's a good uh, skill check for intimidation? It's always hold back on my five E, huh? I know, right? Streetwise, how about that? Uh, yeah, streetwise or crowds. All right. Yeah. Terrible idea, but yeah. Yeah, I should put it back off at zero, though. (laughs) (laughs) All right. 
Lenny realizing, uh, you know, the potential damage that's happening. Says this was, I mean, they deliberately were developing this this nanotech uh, to take back to Newman in order to 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 pacify the planet of the nanotech swarm and to get out of the yoke out of the yoke of the shield, uh, church. shield church, right? The shield church is the only ones that, pr that can protect them from the the technology and. The, those two being people of science uh, feel that the there's too much of a, a religious hokey pokey about it. They know that it's a scientific uh, there's a scientific solution, but the Shield Church won't allow it. Okay, so but they that was that was the intent of the that's that's what they were trying to do. Yeah, and it just got away from us or them. It, yeah, yeah, it looks like Jolly was operating that that containment field alone. Uh, Lenny wasn't there when it happened, so he can't speak to it. Because remember, after after the containment breach and you guys got there, then there was the... Uh, when, shortly after you recovered everything, like it was all on fire, right? And then there was the plasma. There should have been a plasma jet that melted the lab to prevent any more yeah. Uh, yeah, that was nice. containment leak. Yeah. So there was no way going back for more evidence after you guys collected some. And now we are in a rocket ship flying across space, chasing fucking nanite vampires. So, but all we need to do is try to keep him from having any contact with anybody until he gets to Newman, and then we just nuke Newman out of existence. Because I, I don't <laughs> care. I mean, I'm. Uh, I did put the system. I put system Newman in the in game chat. Population tens of billions. I mean, you know, that's not counting the nanites. That's way less than the whole universe, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, drop in the bucket. What if we come in as the protectors um, and they work for us? The needs of yeah, the many. Do a nuclear holocaust on a planet in the third Imperium and see who the uh, <laughs> the galaxy's the galaxy's most wanted five assholes are. No, are oh well, it would it shit. wouldn't be us. We it would be King. <laughs> to be fair, the Emperor would never even hear about what planet. <laughs> okay, so we don't like that idea. Um. And see, I can make Hey, hey, that. hey! We didn't say we don't like that idea. I, it's, just, it's, it's not. I just went down the list. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's on the list. It's just maybe it's not number what one. But it's no, see, we'll now. put it down as a strong maybe. But could we make it <laughs> we look can... like an enemy of Olab? We can make it look like the Aslan did it. I'm really good at that stuff. Like exactly. I've spent the majority of my life doing this. We make like one of the clans. We infect them with a virus that makes them self-destruct. No, no, no. What if no, we no, don't no, nuke no, it? No, what no, if no. we just like slam an asteroid into the planet? Then it looks natural. No, that's no fun. No, I like his idea. It worked on this I other can, planet. I can, I can bring destroyed it. a whole species. Can... <laughs> Talking shit about everybody, thinking they're so superior. Look at me, I'm really tall. You figured out how to live in harmony. You... See, Look at me, I figured out how to live in harmony and use telepathy. I'm a little bit concerned hands. that everybody's going along. <laughs> <laughs> so back to Greg's point, it is a highly populated <laughs> We've lost our conscience. <clears throat> You had a conscience. Oh, oh no! Second we, guess we yourself, in, man. Like, we left our conscience back in um, in Drenax. I know. Now, so you know. I put mine in Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't second guess. Okay. Don't second guess yourself, man. You need to have more confidence in your ideas. I believe right, in but you. But that meeting adjourned. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, no. Selene is getting up and double checking that she has heat rounds loaded now in her cost pistol. <laughs> Being like, yeah, when you get that software package, how about, you know, like the ship and other stuff too? But um, I think the sensors say we're coming up on uh, the planet that we're, we're supposed to be hitting. God, you guys make weeks go by quick. That's why I like traveling with you guys. Oh, I mean... That all depends if I can put the same software upgrade package in a nanite as I can a uh, laptop. That is a lot of people. Yeah, I'm not going to, man, you're not going to do it from the Diamond Falcon. Which, by the way. Fair. 
you guys realize you're barreling through third Imperium space in a salvaged Aslan scout ship, right? Yeah. It's got a, it's, a, okay. it's an old code, but it passes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Have we, are we in Imperium space now? I thought we were still skirting the border. No, not yet. Uh, you guys think you're cha- Newman, you guys think, is the final destination. But, but, we, but we guesstimated that he would have to hit another stop before he could jump to Newman. Because we were trying to jump oh, yeah. for that, so... Yeah, so you guys are heading. We and you caught on sensors the the high guard. Um, uh, I think it was Jason was able to try. Triang- somebody was able to try and get triangulate based on their jump using an astrogation check. It was like through the roof. That it, 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 their likely their likely trajectory based on the J two ship was uh, corded. Yeah. Right, because you're an XC now. Yeah. So and I mean. We should we should arrive like what a week before he does or I don't know how that works when we considering we have a J three and it's, he has a J two yeah so all right let's uh <laughs> you're not present for duty anymore partner you are uh, retired. Oh, I was answering your your yep. chat and I game to, over there. Over there, I love it. I love it. Uh, so yeah, who's on? Uh, we we there yet? There, ref? No, I need a J drive and an or I'll astrogation J drive. So I'm what are we trying to do? do? Are we are we going to try to hit <clears throat> hit him off? Yeah, we're trying to hit him off at the next jump point for him. Yeah. I think theoretically. Yeah, theoretically. Theoretically, if you guys are in a faster J drive, then you get to arrive. If you leave at the same time, the faster J drive gets to the destination first. Now, whatever your your computer, your astrogation, astrogation, the high guard is in a high guard is in a space. It is space. The, it entire, is the entire the uh, entire outside gravity outside well gravity area, well yeah. area uh, and in three dimensional uh, solar, solar system, system solar is effing is massive. Effing yeah. massive. Yeah. yeah, I've learned that recently from a game I've been playing. Yeah. Look at that sub. Look at that sub. Okay, so I have the so I have the tennis difficulty, tennis difficulty set. set. I'm kind of I'm kind of I I think I, it's just faster. I think it's to just faster to make dice rolls change, change, right? Change, you guys right? agree? Yeah. You guys agree? Yeah. I mean, we, yeah. we've done it enough now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Uh, let's throw yeah. let's throw an throw an astrogation in the J drive. And I'm and I'm fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for snake guys. What? Uh. Who's gonna do astrogation? I have three. It is not me. Yeah, I think you're in our astrogator slot because I'm in the pilot seat and uh, Dex in the J uh, J drive seat. Okay. Good. Yeah, we Good. should make sure. Yeah, we should make sure he's at three stations too. Uh, uh, sl- I, I, I still roll. I still roll a random encounter. Just usually. Just usually. Passive. passive. Every every jump. Every, every jump. What do you want next, J Drive? Scientology. Yeah, yeah, engineer J Drive. Yep. Engineer J Drive. Under science. Oh, look at that! Bam. Yeah. So, like, precision, dude. precision. Dude, we both of us precision, like rock out. Precision, precision. Uh, <laughs> I want to hear. This is where I want. Boop. <laughs> yep, that is two exceptional successes. Nice. <laughs> All right, go into my, right. space, go into my space encounters. See what, what see what happens when we get to we get cordon. to cordon. Meet, meet a trader with mini nukes. Yes. Now, uh, yes. Now, uh, yes. Yeah, jumping yeah, in system. Jumping in system. Uh, you, uh, uh, you uh, a trader with macro nukes. Yeah, there's a, a there's a small a perimeter small of perimeter asteroids, of asteroids, asteroids around the system, around the system and, and you pick up a mining, pick up ship, a mining ship immediately on sensors, immediately on sensors that, is, that is at danger close. At danger close with, with sensors. It's on sensors. Is a mining is ship. A mining ship on scan. 
All right, let's get some sense right, of information. Some information. Uh, information. Cord uh, cord uh, cord uh, cord you know, we could get the Imperium to blow the planet up. I can do a comms check and see if they got comms over there on their ship. Yeah, try to yeah. hail him. Yeah, try to hail him. Oh shoot! There we go. That's what I'm doing. Yep. Yep. You're able to get him hailed. Let me get, get a. Uh, let me get a. Uh, on the six six table on the name of the ship. On the name of the ship. <laughs> Whoever dropped that, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ships. Ships. <laughs> dumb name. Dumb Sorry. name. Uh, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> All right, that's yeah. a good one. All right, that's a good one. Love it's sorrow. Love yes. sorrow. The mining ship. That's not a good book. Yeah, yeah. That's fitting. Yep, yep. Uh, you're gonna be so able to hail the, captain, able to hail the uh, captain, uh, captain and their crew are out uh, uh, doing, uh, precious, doing metal uh, precious metal mining. So the crew's outside the ship? Yep. Yeah, they go yep. outside. Yeah, they go uh, outside. Uh, this, this type of operation, this type of operation will require, will require uh, back, uh, suit. back suit. They're, they're belters. They're belters. Good thing I speak, Belton. I'll go take over their ship, lock them out, steal the shit. Here we go. <laughs> now you go. <laughs> Jonathan, you are coming around to my way of thinking. Cool. I, I, so that's two votes for... And... Jump in their ship while they're outside and take their well, ship. Well, and that's two. after we take their ship, um, then we, you know... We could use their ship to crash into the vampire nanite ship. That's true. Do we need a um? Do we need a, a mining system? Or do we need a mining operation? I usually don't think about what I need before oh, I. Oh no, we definitely it. should steal the ship. It's... I'm all about that. Okay. F F Y I guys. This is fun. <laughs> 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 a, a mining a, a mining a mining ship is mining just, ship a, is just a, uh, a repurposed scout a repurposed career. Scout career. Mm. Uh, what skill would it be to know what that is? What? What? I don't know what a, re what a scout career is. Oh man, that's the high oh, man. Check that's it the out on computer. Oh, no shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we got to start. So I, I, so I, 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 put, the, I put the, the ship information, the ship information your, computer your, has your computer has on seeker mining ship, seeker type, mining ship type J's. And it has a double turret. Scanners are showing. It does. It does. Yep. 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 Now, I'll need a, 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 yeah. Well, are we approaching? Well, are I need we approaching. Scan, I need a sensor scan. I can tell you the. I can tell you the. Yeah. Yeah. I get this up on average now. Up on average now. Electronic sensors. Electronic sensors. sensors you can figure out what the double turret, turret is. Double turret and, is. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? I got three electronics. I don't think. Do we have anybody with sensors? No, nah, I got a computer. Oh my god! That's I think that that may have been that, that may have been his uh, department. Flat, flat electronic. I'm already at the computer, so I'll I'll do it. Oh, what's your electronics at? That is <coughs> zero. Okay. Yeah. It's just not negative. Yeah, your sensors yeah, are not able to scan down, able to how, scan down, down how the turret is configured. configured. Yeah, guys, I'm not getting anything. <laughs> Why do we want? To, I mean, say, besides since say, this is since, since this is since, since this is becoming a serious becoming a serious conversation, we'll put you out at about ten thousand kilometers. kilometers. What kind of what are 
What, what kind of weapons have? do we have on the ship yeah. we're on? I don't know much. <laughs> I don't remember much well, about yeah, that. I also, I, I guess I wasn't paying attention before. Like, what kind of ship are we really, are we really on? Like what a kind little of, like, Aslan. Are we rolling up on them on like a little dinky ship versus a big ship? Are we the bigger ship? It's oh, little, we're an Aslan. It's nasty little, nasty but it's uh, one, 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 one for one. One for uh, one. You guys, uh, you're more you guys are more maneuverable, maneuverable, maneuverable and armament, but they're, and armament, more, heavily, but they're more heavily defended. defended. They, are. they are. Yeah, they do. They are, have, yeah, they do have. Uh, I got that triple, 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 triple pulse laser. Yeah, you guys are more. Yeah, you guys are more heavily armed. armed. I think they have more armor. They have more armor though. And one more memorable. I didn't plan on getting into a fight. Like we can like fake a medical emergency of some sort, like that, get over on the ship, and then we bamboozle them. I thought like, no, this like straight fight thing. No, cheat to win, man. Yeah, no, I don't want to jump them. Let's offer them some med medical help. Hey, question there, real quick. We're at, Wait, what? Uh, That's how we get on. Answers military grade. What is that? Does that change anything? Say that again. It has Say that again. Military grade sensors. Does that change anything? The seeker mining the ship seeker or the mining ship or the Falcon Falcon Diamond Falcon? Falcon. Oh, oh, it's a good question. Let me check good my question. head guard. Let me check my head guard. Maybe it adds a bonus. Maybe it adds a bonus. I bet it. I bet it. I bet it. I bet it does. I bet it yeah, does. All yeah, you yeah, needed was all you needed was a plus one, and you would have passed. You would have passed. Uh, let's check with the regular uh, uh, standard robot, robot first. Uh, when then the, my, my next question was, do we know where they are? I mean, did we get any read? Yeah, you guys already healed. You, you guys already healed and you have a conversation going. Yeah. I got through to the captain. Oh, okay. I did do that. I, I just, my sensors didn't get anything. That we're aware of. Correct. But he told you they're not aboard. Sensors. Sensors. Yeah, they are working. Yeah, they are working. Yeah, they are working. Yeah, they are working. They're Matt, 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 Captain's Matt, on board. Captain's on board. Supervising. Supervising. Their crew there. Their crew there. All right. So I do have it. So I do it have it. It is military. 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 More sensors. More sensors. Yeah, I'm down with Jonathan. Then you know we kind of just talk our way. Hey, have you guys seen anybody? Give them a little scare. Tell them about, you know, the zombie ship or something. We need to come well, in. Well, I mean, if their sensors pick this up and they see a fucking Aslan scout fucking ship come flying up on them, they're going to be a little free. That's a Especially, good point. though, when a human, like, pops up on the fucking big screen. We're like, what's up, guys? Hey, man. Be in the area. There's, like, an affected <laughs> ship rolling through. Here's the stats for it. Have you guys seen it? That's you a good, good point. So military so grade, military doesn't, grade give doesn't give a plus okay. one. A plus, a plus zero. Plus, plus the, the, zero. Difference the, the difference between that grade is it grade provides, provides jamming, cap jamming capability. So yeah, so if they're scanning us, we're well, jamming. That's, <laughs> that's good to know, too. All right. Well, we gotta like figure out what we want to tell them when we roll up on them. What I just said. What are we? What are we gonna tell them? What's the What's the lie? Where does it? We're going. Where does it? We're going pirate mode. I don't know. Nobody's told me no yet. So uh, yes. Yeah. Well, who's, who's, well, who's 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 piloting? Who's piloting? Who's, piloting? who's at the sticks? Who's at the sticks? I'm this thing right now. I'm at the sticks, and we're not flying quite anywhere yet. <laughs> uh, not until I know where those guns are. The... Um. One. Two, I'm like, oh, oh okay, I'm, I'm all for stealing the ship, but how are we going to get it to where we need to go? A good point. We get them to work for us. That's kind of what I was going to say. I just checked the stats. It's, 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 uh, right? it's got a fuel scoop on it and a jump to drive. <laughs> like, how, how the fuck yeah. else do you think we're yeah. going to get it to where we want Who's it to go? Who's going to fly it? Same way we get all the other ships. But yeah, yeah need, but normally we have a... like we need a, people. A, <laughs> yeah. We have people. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever the fuck Kevin is. There's like <laughs> seven <laughs> and a half of us almost. That's, what's the term? Pressing what's the in the term? Service? Pressing in the service? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shanghai? Yeah, that's the other. Yeah, Shanghai. that's the other. Yeah. Shanghai. Shanghai. Yeah. We're not pressing Kevin in the service, are we, <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Kevin, you want to go wreck some shit? Yeah, yeah, he does. He's okay with it. See, hell yeah. 
all the Kevins are on board. <laughs> they got to they got to <laughs> suck the oxygen out. Okay. Um. Again, I I I'm all about the pirate life. We can go fuck these guys up and steal what they have. I'm not seeing a payout though. But where's the payout? The precious metals. Now, if we're gonna steal, now if we're gonna steal this ship get... and then ram it into the space vampire ship, okay, I'm down for that. Let Let's do that. But if we're just going to go over here, kill these guys, and take this ship just because, how are we going to get it to somewhere to sell it? Right. So That's my the, question. The, my, my, my thought was, if we're going to do that, we need to figure out a way to board, kill the officers, and maybe some of the crew hangs out with us, and we can, re, we can re-educate we, them. We can re-educate them. Teach them the ways of making money instead of working well, their fingers to the bone for some mining company. And they can be working their fingers to the bone for us. I'm well. okay with that, too. But again, though, uh, my idea is if we take this ship, I want it to sling it into that fucking the vampire ship. What if we used it True. to aid us in the vampire ship? It's got a turret. It, well, we don't know that. Um, but well, we could still... Yeah, I'm with you though. You're right. I mean, we do need a we having another ship to come with. Okay, be good. so yeah. we could use our letter of mark to commandeer them and their ship to help us attack the other ship when it comes in. Ooh, I like this. Yeah. I just, I just still. How do we sell this ad on ship? I don't. <laughs> Then I'm not trying to, worry about trying it. Like I said, we'll just it, roll up and be like, what's up? Turn the view screen the, on, um, and there's little, the, um, little Celine sitting there with a big old smile. And you, and you, okay. Or yeah, I remember this ship. I remember you're this ship. You're this leasing ship, right? this no, ship, right? I'm, I'm commandeering this ship. No, the, the, no, 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 the, 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 no, no, the, the, the diamond falls. The diamond yeah, falls. Yeah, no, no. It, they think it's we're leasing. It's on the lease. That's right. This ship's not trapped. When we get back, I'm dropping the letter mark. Who are we leasing this ship from? Your old the employer? Vespers, the Vespers or something. Why are we releasing when we have shit? Oh. Just curious. Well, it was a part. Remember? I don't know. Yeah, because we're about to have another ship, too. Well, so, that's if it survives the attack. Um, you get the insurance. No. You always get the insurance. <laughs> oh, my God. You always get the insurance. <laughs> Well, maybe Bazoon, may, Bazoon might have paid for the insurance. I don't know. I, I don't care. It sounds like something it he would have like done. done. That is true. He would have yeah. yeah. paid out of pocket, like so, out of yeah. pocket too. So, well, let's come and see this ship and do it. You know he had that. He no. had roadside assistance and every pilot, every person with the pilot skill was insured. <laughs> Every crew member that died, he was turning that shit in. <laughs> Life insurance policies on everybody. That's a really fucking good idea, actually. <laughs> good selling point. I we not offer it. insurance as pirates. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to, like, tell people that. I was just going to take out life insurance policies on the I crew just, and I turn just, them in when they die. We should spend a session with you guys. Session session you guys. Call call <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Um, but no, again, though, I, I don't see any gain other than commandeering this ship and crew to help us blow up the vampire ship. Um, if you guys can tell me otherwise, besides just malicious acts of destruction, and again, which I'm down for, if you just want to go there and murk everybody and blow the ship up, we can do that too. But I mean, as far as like trying to capture the ship and turn people into our crew and get them on our side, you know, to, to be part of our fleet, eh, I'm not feeling that right now. Plus, that means we got to open the books and dex has got to do math and, you know. I would rather just use my name. I really didn't have any plans beyond, like, taking over the ship. I know, and that's... That, that's like, my plans ended with them, like, knocking on the outside of the door. That's really kind of where... I mean, after that, I guess I don't really have too hard of an opinion, <laughs> like, one way or the other. <laughs> but I am down, though, for pulling up on them and being like, hey, we are in search for a plague vessel however it's worded, um, that needs to be destroyed uh, 
and we could use your assistance. And if they say no, well, then, you know, well, we will be doing this conversation face to face and we'll pull out the letter of Mark. Didn't I get and, to use that work, and then that gets to use his knives. <laughs> OK, yes, I like it. I think Doc should do something medically to somebody, yes. whatever the medical thing is that you do. Make it look like a medical emergency. Then we get on board to use their medical supplies, and then we murk them all while we're enjoying their hospitality and generosity. Well, I have been wanting to try this one new thing. If one of you guys are cool, let me try it on you. No, you're not touching me. No, no. Can no, you I've use been a, inside your you, head? Can nah. you use a Kevin? Yes, you're gonna use a Kevin. Ooh, we could just say yeah, that use a Kevin. Kevin to like just gas him. Or we could just say that Kevin has been horribly deformed or whatever from some from this plague. From the plague. <laughs> from the plague. Yes. From I the mean, plague. Look, 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 yes. look. Plague ship. No offense, Kevin. No offense, Kevin. But if you had never met him, and some stranger ship rolled up on you and was like, "Hey, this dude needs help," would you let that motherfucker on board? No. 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 He's down. Not though. a not not a thing that looks like Kevin. <laughs> yeah, no way. Now you look at you. But wait, I mean, wait, 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 wait. They ain't going to see your mind on a scanner. They're going to see your We don't looks. need Kevin on board. You, they, we just, just need to show them so Kevin. Bad. We don't need, so we'll show them Kevin. We think that there may have been an infection. Doc has us all quarantined, but he needs something <laughs> from their shit. And he, you know, he's going to bring a few. They don't know how many people are on our ship either, right? So maybe... Uh, so you're going to let the one guy that doesn't have the Bothan mange on your ship? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I think we're all assuming they're stupider than we are. <clears throat> uh, yeah, good point. Burn them! <laughs> Burn them anyway! I'm still telling you, a medical emergency that they can comprehend. Yeah. Potentially even something they know how to yeah. drill with. Yeah. Potentially like an arm break or, you know, something. Yeah, that's a good I point. Do you, you bleed or it, do you bleed it all, Jonathan? I'm taking my girl out. I bleed. Uh, What's the DC? Ish. Couldn't you just make it look like somebody here was hurt to them? Yes, Celine? yes, you could. You got, is it I don't know. You're the doctor. Celine Can you do that? Getting, like their heads and on their deck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's plenty of things I can mm. do, but right now I need to hurry up and pour through my art and create a uh, hollow image. Oh, a hologram. Oh, a hologram. Of uh, my crew member that's really fucked up, and I don't have the medical <laughs> facilities on my ship to fix him. Oh, that's even better. Man, man, I was kind of hoping Doctor Call. I thought Doctor Call was going to volunteer to remove somebody's eye and put it back there. 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 I was going to try and install a little wrist gun <laughs> and fail horribly, and hopefully I have to cut their hand off. Dude, eye gun. Eye gun. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> all right all right hey you got you hey, have you i mean you have i mean it's gonna look like it's gonna look like you know what i mean you know what i mean it's all that right. matters it's all that matters we don't have hd all right all right wow wow all right all right Mining ship, just, lover uh, sorrow. Just, uh, mining ship lover sorrow. Mining ship lover sorrow. This is the Diamond Falcon. Come in over. Lovers. Uh, what the fuck is it? Lover sorrow. Lover sorrow. This is Diamond Falcon. Come in over. Diamond Falcon. This Diamond Falcon. This is sorrow. Lover sorrow. Yep. This is yep. Captain Celine of Diamond Falcon. I have a injured crew member. Unfortunately, my acquired uh, Aslan Scout does not have the facilities to treat injury. Can you help us out? Over. We do have credits. Over. Ooh. Ooh. Stand by. Stand by. Falcon. Diamond Falcon. I'm just reading their thing I'm just right reading now. their thing right now. I don't. I don't. Fusion. 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 Ha! 
It's really everything. They got some mining drones. Did you guys take a look at the uh, the ship on your ship computer? No, the 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 soulless one was supposed to be doing that. While I was trying to keep everybody from just like, you know, that doesn't have a medical bay, right? I do now. <laughs> this didn't come up while I said to check out there. Are you fucking kidding me, guys? Uh -huh. Literally, this is the story I'm supposed to be selling these assholes, and they don't. There, there it is again. There's the the record. Maybe they off your ship's computer. If it was me. I would still yeah. keep selling it. They're miners. Yeah, they might have something. One of them there might have a problem. They might try to rob us now. Whatever. Yeah. Sure. Keep so going. Going. <laughs> oh, rob us. Yeah. Watch you? the table turn on this. You guys get <laughs> bamboozled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come That's on. <laughs> have it. Uh, they're going to come back. Diamond Falcon, our ship does not have medical facilities. Recommend that you set a course to uh, Cordon High Port. That's a good copy, uh, Lover Sorrow. But do you have at least a med kit or two, something we can get? As you can see, uh, he's in bad shape here. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to make it in time. And again, we do. We'll send, a, we'll send a mining drone out with it. Uh, <laughs> Dang. Jesus. Roger, appreciate the <laughs> the love there, love sorrow. Uh, you got your uh, transfer key. We'll send you a uh, hundred credits for your service and transmission. You guys better hack that shit and fucking reverse this payment. <laughs> like <laughs> it's a freebie. <laughs> so you got a you got a mining drone coming your way, and it's between between you and it. Uh, it's gonna make a drop, and now there's just this package in space. We're gonna go. Whether you want it or not, yeah, we're gonna pick up the package. We gotta, we gotta keep the plot, plot going. And a big thank you. Yep. Here you go. Here's the one tech, tech level twelve med kit. Boom! All right. Uh, we got something. Now, now, we got <laughs> something, guys. <laughs> We got something out of it, guys, that we didn't have to pay creds for. All right. You tricked the fuck out of them for that. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're pirates, are We got good kit. <laughs> we got that fucking fake kit. Hey, you gotta start little, man. Start little. All right. It was a bold move. Bold move, Cotton. <laughs> Did that give us any time to do any additional scans while all that was going on? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, we could do some PS. And, um, if anybody want to sensor scan down the uh, the Seeker Miner ship, I could tell you what it's armed with. But... Let's go, girlfriend. There, there you go. go. There you go. Yeah. It's got sandcasters. It's just uh, preventing boarding actions. Yeah, we definitely got um, that. I was inverted. I'm out. <laughs> and then, yep, yeah, let's see if we have another space effect. On scan. So, I mean, I guess if we're not going to try to do anything but move on, we should at least ask them, have they heard of or seen any other ships go by? Do we? Want, I don't know if we want to give up the zombie, the zombie knowledge, but... Yeah, that's information you'll get at the high port. Um, okay. I mean, on the sensor, you got another scout ship just came in system. It's it's several AUs away. It's so there's there's traffic, there's system traffic coming in and out. All right, well thank you guys for the med pack. We're gonna head to the uh, high board now. Just saved one of my crew members' life. Good looking out, lover sorrow. All right, so we just need a piloting docking check. Uh, anybody, you guys want to speed up your queue time to dock, or are you just going to wait your turn? Wait our... Well. Dick just starts bitching and puts his knives away. Uh, We're going to wait our turn. It's never come up before, but it's a rule. I'm just uh, throwing it out there. Okay, let me get some birthing and fuel costs for you. This is our first time here. Yeah. Let's hope they're not in a recession. 
Right, so first timers get a discount or some shit. At least a free gift. Right? Yeah. Alright. Speaking of. Be a keychain. I had to do some maintenance too. Once the last time you guys, uh, I'll just I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You did it at Tech World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's getting paid for. That I do know. So when bookkeeping's pretty um, good. Just at a at a character game question. Mm-hmm. When I was looking through some of those um, sheets you wrote up for um, some of the other planets, it had a birthing cost, which was the cost of bir- initial night and then it had a per day cost in addition to that really mm-hmm. you, uh, so i was trying to see if i had any of them open but i think i closed them all but i, I think if you just that's a rubber, open one up i remember I, yeah i have a note going that's private that has your guys's um standing which is still neutral isn't it for the most part i mean most, most, you guys, area of faction standings. You guys haven't done much. You guys have done very little outside of Clark and Torpal yeah. to improve your standing. I, I agree. Or, or, or decrease it. I mean, we either need to be oh, doing, you haven't, killing you have, people. You haven't or, decreased it anywhere. Yeah, yeah, you haven't decreased it anywhere. You've only increased it in it. two locations. You guys are, um, I'll, I'll reassure the rules on that real quick on for the campaign data on how to do it. Um, I think birthing costs, I can't remember their flat rate. I think we just keep everything at um, fuel is 500 per refined, 1,000 for unrefined. And so I gotta, that's, that's a flat rate thing right there. So unless, unless I, I decide otherwise, so let me go add that into system is this or down blue or down blue borderland Border. so I'll edit this fuels 500 find and find borderland substick Man's, man's the origin purpose. UWP. What goes there? Or is that just if you know what they were? Uh, okay. Say so your character. Yeah. yeah. It's it's a holdover from Mongoose Traveler One, depending okay. on your planet. Uh, added some flavor to your character. Yeah. So see, like I just did, Cordon, and hit generate right, and so it's got a birthing cost to dock and then per day and they're different costs i just uh you know i've always I, i've always ran at flat rate i just noticed it on the thing you sent me the other day oh on the uh traveler tool mm-hmm. yeah I, i've been just doing birthing costs at flat rate all right but that's not a, a bad idea birthing so landings and starboard incurs a cost which varies wildly from world world c star pages 225 that's what i i gotta go to i gotta roll this one up it's been a while since you guys been to a new place that didn't have it hard set. Yeah, I've been trying to keep them. Yeah. Whenever you tell me, I, I plug them in. Yeah, it's been a while because you guys early in the campaign you were visiting the same five systems over and right, over again, right. so they right. stayed. We're expanding. That's true. What should I know what page 225? Common space craft. Oh, man, I may have to bring up my my actual book. Rut row, Raggy. The reference mail. Yeah, it's been a while. We're making the ref work. Freight, speculative. Size. Oh, there's Starport. All right. It's based off of, um, okay, yeah, th- this is why. Okay, so it's based off the Starport facility. Cordon Starport is A, excellent, which means birthing cost is 1D times 1,000th 
thousand. And I maxed that bitch out. I'm sorry, burning cost is six thousand credits at Cordon. Per day? Yeah, now I want to see what because you bring up a rule that I may not be aware of it that there's difference per day. Well, so, I just noticed it on right. those, um, you know, the traveler tool. So I didn't actually read it. Yeah. No, that so that that one is generic to all traveler rule sets. So maybe gotcha. like, gotcha, gotcha. yeah, the old one had. But so I'm reading like this. Burden cost on Mongoose Traveler 2 is the price paid by any ship that wants to land or dock at the starport. Prices can vary wildly between starports, but tend to remain stable at each. Roll once for each starport and record for future reference. Just did it. Okay. And that's it. I mean, there's no other... They might have simplified it in this one, so this way there wasn't so much... Because there is so much yeah. bookkeeping in it already. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but the better the deal we pay for six nights get seven night free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll require you guys to go do some carousing, I think. We're always down for doing some carousing. We got to do some anyways because we got to like so we get some info or at least be because we got to pay some folks to, that got better, deeper, farther scanners than us for when that uh, ship comes into port. Yeah, well, what is what is this ship? What remember? What is this person operating, Doctor Jolly? I don't. Do I got that in my notes? I can't bring up the story. I even I, had a ship name for that. Did oh, I did Hold not on. get Earthing days. Ooh, love. Right, right. How long do we think we're staying? Hey. <laughs> Lord Gerald's Fancy. Lord is Gerald's a, Fancy, that's right. If you jump to Far Trader. Here's some your computer information on a Far Trader. Story? No. Oh, did I say that? Spacecraft, you're for Ness. All right. Uh, far. Let's think about the um, 40 tons on a J2. We know it just refueled. We could have had the potential to just refuel at that gas giant. So it would have to um, refuel here. I'm all right. So let's get some more information. But I'm trying to. Kind of, I know I'm leading you guys a little bit, but for planning purposes, yeah. I want to make sure you guys have everything you need. Uh, let's go to court on this. Yeah. Read the wiki. Ah, uh, dang let's it. Let's see if they have any. Very little background. As three gas giants. What is fuel? Is it 500? Yeah, 500 for refine. This thing's got a fuel scoop. The far trader does, right? Yeah, it's not. The far trader. Oh, does, yeah, does. I think the far trader does too, but I think the diamond falcon does too. Yeah, I, I'm more. I'm more. I want you guys thinking about. But we got. T no, that, no, that's what that I was just thinking. Time, yeah, right. Why? Why even? Why even come here to the high port when this thing has now made him smart enough to pilot a ship and be able to, you know, he can use the fuel scoops and do the refining thing and then head out. So we've got a one in three chance of picking one of the the deals, and we figure that we're. What three to four days ahead of him? Three to three to seven oh, days ahead three. of him? Yeah. All right. So while well, we're here in Highport, um, because we don't have the facilities on the Diamond Falcon, Doc, uh, Jonathan, 
is there any way that since we could, you know, use this time, I don't know how fast and how, how it will actually work, that we can bounce between these three uh, gas giants, set buoys up around them for when his transponder shows up to let us know which gas giant he hits. And is I mean, the feasible? I'll see why not. Do we have like any drones or any? Well, that would be the thing we'd have like to purchase. That? Well, that would be the thing is hopefully here in High Fort we can purchase the materials to. I know a ship that has some drones. Close by. <laughs> not wrong. I'm just I'm re I'm redropping this so it's just more current in chat so because I keep scrolling up looking for it. And so I wanted to see the tech level. Tech level nine. It's not terrible. Let's see what runs. Well, there's a spot for news. That's cool. And trade. <laughs> I, I, I that. Damn it. I've not been, uh, we owe some more money. This is best of means of phenomenon. So my uh, big brains, is this something that we can do? I mean, I don't know. I don't really have sensors, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, though, is while we're here, we can pick up a, if they, I don't know, tech level nine, will they sell a sensors computer package? Yeah, I mean, if it falls in the tech level, it's available. I mean, I could install a software package if someone can buy a drone. I can buy. A or if drone we have like a drone, if we have a drone that can do a constant scan, then I guess yeah, yeah, I can, I can install a software package. So I figure. So let's go shopping and see what they've got. Maybe we'll find some back alley fucking dealer or something. Maybe sure. we'll get lucky. So we're going to the tavern. To the tavern. Oh, to the bar. To the tavern. What's the bar's name? All right, John Brazier Tables. Give me something fun. Probe joints. Probe droids. <laughs> Probe droid drones. Our tech level nine. Spaceport bar names. Here it comes. Cool. Wow. This place is original. <laughs> Space Hauler's Bar. I forgot, Doug. <laughs> what was the name of that mining ship? It is what it oh, is. Sorry, that's right. Sorrow. Yeah, I just did shared some information on drones. Probe drones are tech level nine, which I think is exactly where we want to be. What we're looking for, yep. Each ton dedicated to a probe drone contains five drones at the cost of 0.5 million or 500,000 credits. Mm, I can buy five. Whoa, that'd be 25 probe drones. No, no, I mean. I can buy a thing that contains five drones. Oh, you buy yeah, you can buy one ton, one ton of probe drone. Well, we need three, right? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Well, we also need to know is it going to cover the whole surface of the gas giant or not? Yeah, you got, you know, there's going to be a dark side. Be right it's true. You probably want to cover the poles and then. Five is probably about right per planet, per gas giant, for good good coverage, just to make sure there's no dark side of it. 
not to mention right. all the all the dozens of moons potentially. You know what I mean? There's just so much high space in space. <laughs> Should we? You guys want to take five real quick? We've been going for yeah, about two hours. Yeah, that was the Jeff had to step out. We got a we got an intermission, yeah. Josh. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay, now let's take five. I'm gonna go fill up my water, and we'll be back.
all they all said they all did like the same thing. Like cleric was like your only class I think had like any variety because it had like it, it could cure. But like every power was just like a different they called it okay. something different. Same thing. So have same a, skin different I mean, yes. Yeah, it was just the same it would be the same power reskin. You're a fighter, so every round as a bonus action you can make it a second attack to do an extra 1d6 of damage. Okay? Arcane Retribution. As a wizard, every round you can do an extra 1d6 as a bonus action. <laughs> Cleric. Every round you can do an extra 1d6 of radiant damage. Is... Guess what the rogue got? As a bonus action, <laughs> Do an extra one d six sneak attack damage. <laughs> Everything was just the same, just slightly skinned. Right. Just, yeah. Do you want? You know, it was all. It was literally all up to the player to make it look and feel the way they wanted it to look and feel because they they could have just gave you like really one class and just hold with it. It was. So that's what really made it like unbreakable. Everything was the same, and there was like no variation. Like they, they twisted the screws too tight with that one. But I, I get it. They just came out of three point five, and <laughs> they were like, "We're never doing that shit again." <laughs> no, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, not to not to change subjects. But while you guys were looking, I was looking at books. They they uh, raised the damn prices of everything by like six bucks, five bucks, and they took fifteen percent yeah. off. <laughs> everything used to all the books used to be like twenty five bucks. Now they're all twenty. They're all thirty dollars. They're all twenty nine ninety nine. They used to all be twenty four ninety nine before Hasbro bought them. Honestly, I don't know if it happened during Hasbro or sometime re- right before Spelljammer, but it's that's that increased uh, shipping costs right now. Right for an electronic yeah. book. No, yeah. like the yeah. big thing that the big thing that Watsy's doing right now is they're repackaging even all of their old stuff to fit their trilogy edition type style. So all of well, almost all their old old books are going to be coming out in like trilogy editions in like. Three box sets. So yeah, that's you have right, that's four three box, box sets. That's just wrong. Yeah. I'm yep. just gonna. Oh, I, I feel bad. I'm yeah, good. you know, I know I shouldn't say anything bad, right. and we're playing Traveler, but that's just not right. Like, right, I, we're not playing Watsy. We're allowed to shit yeah, talk. Yeah, we get, right yeah, now. yeah. yeah like they did the uh, the special edition slip slip box case of uh, Bolo's guide, Xanathar, and Mordekainen, yeah. and then six months later, they just rewrote Mordekainen. Yeah, yeah, buy yeah. this now. Yep. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I can't or work overtime, the bastards. Yeah, or in old editions, if you got like all three, like their box set, you got a discount or a deal. Or something now, cool that was now you get to pay extra. You don't get it. You don't get a deal. You just get the DMG that nobody was asking to be included as part of the box set. Like nobody said, hey, I wish I had like the shitty DMG that nobody buys anyway. Like, every DM I've ever known that ever bought any DM screen ended up putting notes on it of their own, ended up getting one of the blank ones as their own. Like, it ended up being like, you know what, this is a good idea, but I wanna, I'm want i going to do my own because every DM uses different shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just pretty upset. I'm sorry. I'm just pretty upset that old books that they've done nothing with that are electronic went up five dollars. What the fuck is that? That's just preach it. (laughs) Come to the church. All right. Anyway, sorry. Now I'm back. Only you guys can fix that. (laughs) What's that? Only we can fix that. That's true. We gotta fight him. I'm gonna escape. I'm gonna go all man together. Go old school, take a, my buddy's book to the library and just photocopy that bastard. <laughs> just the rules that I needed. That's what I used to do. 
Josh, you ever go into Borders for like hours and getting the books off the shelf and copying shit Straight down? down on a piece of notebook paper. Fuck yeah. That's yep. It's like, I want to take this prestige class or this class and just write everything down on a piece of paper real quick. Couldn't photocopy it. And I think their phones had cameras at the time. Hey, what the hell? No, They're going to wreck no. it. They've got like everybody playing right now. <laughs> And if they just start... Right, so we got to go buy some probe drawings? Uh-huh. Dealing out of everybody's pocketbooks. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Back to the back game. To the game. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Back to the yeah, system we enjoy. The rant. Let's blow stuff up. Grab a hole. Up. Grab a hole. This is about to turn into a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mongoose. We like your shit Amen right to now. that. So we're in uh we're in this high port and our uh goal is to buy some probe drone drones. Um like I said, I can afford five, uh a That's one ton. Need. That should be enough. Do you yeah. think? One ton? Five of them. It contains five yeah. drones. I think well to cover a sphere, we need at least one, two, three, four, four drones per sphere. All right. That's assuming everything's good, nothing's go, nothing goes wrong. But we need at least four drones to be able to cover a sphere. And if you do, you do two at each pole. Really, yeah, because then they can relay down. Run yeah. to the Basically, think a D four. Yeah, a, a D four around a sphere. Do we need to buy some more? That can go in on some. I've got some. Well, there's three. There's there's three gas giants in the system. That's why the discussion is. Yeah, that's why we need it. We least. don't know which one they're gonna they're gonna go to. I mean, the other thing. Yeah, so we need. I, I mean, I'm not opposed. Well, to, this is a. You know, an effort from all of us. We can dip into the ship funds. Honestly, we would need two and a half. Ton, like what? Two and a half. Tons? And they're how much a ton? Uh, one one and a mil. half. Half a million. So coming uh, from the accountant. We need a million and a half pro droids. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're going around this all raw. That's way too much money. They already have, I guarantee you, some kind of like monitoring in place for their own. Why don't we just hack the shit they already have in place? That seems way more efficient. And See, this is the conversation replaced. we're having while we're going to Ship Hauler's Bar. Yes, I like yeah. it. Let me, let me, let me go ahead. I gotta see if there's any um, campaign information on Corden. He has a little off the beaten path here. I, I've been, been needing, needing a purple, might be ah, been needing a purple flipple for a while. Yeah, maybe in the Dranaxian Companion. I'm just going off the theory that I don't know what tech level Earth was considered right now, but. We have multiple probes around almost all of our celestial neighbors. True. Now, granted, it's in some cases it's seventeen hours of back and forth radio time, but that's not the way there now. It's all kinds. Well, that's another thing too. So I'm going to need you guys to figure out like where we need to be at in orbit to try to get the best real time. Relays from these uh, probes because it's going to take X amount of time for this ship to scoop, refine, and jump, which is about a day. Uh, without doing the direct math or actually trying to see, the assumption is three planets. Worst case scenario, they're not going to be very close to each other. They're going to be away from each other. I mean, if we get to if we get there and all three of them are like kind of synced and eclipsy on one side, then let's also play the lottery and we'll sit there by those planets. Otherwise, probably somewhere close to the the uh, system core, probably near the sun somewhere. I just I just say. Think- I just sent you your guys' like, uh, ship's computer information on Corden. So we're showing up to an Aslan station and an Aslan ship with no Aslan.
Hmm. It's interesting that they don't account for most of the population as part of the population. The population? Yeah. <laughs> Aaron this year, that is where you guys, isn't that where you guys stole the, uh, or started the plans to steal the Martin III? Yes, it is. Used to be a vessel state of there, huh? Uh-huh. It's interesting. It's a circle. Yeah, so we catch some flack for rolling in in our uh, Aslan ship. This ought to be interesting. No. Ah. Well, this part of, you know, the, the Borderlands area, there's all kinds of Ihati, I and it, it's common. Aslan ships are common. Right, throughout here. Yeah. But, that's, yeah, but I'm saying, though, when the view screen pops up and they see a bunch of humans sitting by, behind the console, oh, or at least uh, when we land... And they see a bunch of right, Aslan garments. <laughs> I was thinking that I was going to go ahead and throw on the whole uh, seer persona that I have that I used with the Aslan. Yeah, that's that's the persona I'll use for this. It would have been cooler if we would have had pelts. I agree. We have the captain's um, wardrobe thing. No, we don't. That's on the other ship. Interesting. Uh, I have some yeah. really cool information. Um, so. All right. So yeah, we're uh, walking to Space Hauler's Bar, and we kind of realized that, um, shit, this is not the planet we thought it was. <clears throat> so what's happened in Space Hauler's Bar as we're communicating amongst ourselves on how we're going to exactly do this? Oh, uh... So there's not much commotion going on. The um, the patrons here are a mix of Cordonites and uh, Imperium um, naval officers. I pay special attention to see how uh, Shadow handles seeing all these Imperial naval officers. Just in shock. Are you bringing Kevin with you? Yes. <laughs> Kevin's always here. Oh, do we have any drugs? Yes. I was going to ask that. Your yes. drugs. Not like mass quantities of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think, I think you guys have them like, by the tongue. Yeah. Um, a handful uh, or two. Oh yeah. Swipe some drugs. Like handful of ones. Well, I don't, actually, I don't know if they're on the Diamond Falcon. I have twenty recreational. Diamond drugs. Falcon's currently. Those I've will got work. Five Whatever. Combat drugs. I've got ten fast drugs. I've got five inhibitor drugs. What happens if you give them both to somebody at the same time? Well, the fast drug is really good to just kill somebody really fast. Oh. No. Unless 
So by fast drug, you don't mean like cocaine, you mean like... <laughs> well, dead like fast. ...to make you like, heal really fast. But the right person could also make you just die really fast. I've done it. So they're the opposite of extended <laughs> release. <laughs> However, you interpret fast. <laughs> Do we at have time. any like hallucinogenics or LSD on board or anything yeah, of that nature? Any fast versions of those? I have one side drug. <laughs> <laughs> that's mine. I don't that's, even like need personal. a fast version of it. Just I'll, I'll take a slow <laughs> version of I got, LSD. I want, I got six. I want to drugs. see that. I want to see that affect Jonathan. That could be interesting. That sounds terrible. Does... <laughs> oh, I'm not looking for any drugs for me. I don't think any of them will affect me. I'm just looking to, like, drug a whole bunch of other people and see, like, a room full of LSD out at Imperial soldiers. <laughs> I could. That's that's the end I goal. could take the recreational drugs I have and make some aerosol form. <laughs> Okay. That's okay. Go ahead. So yeah, uh, da, 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 we're following basic law standards with what we can get away with as far as our garb and weaponry. Um, we get into this bar, take a seat. So okay, guys. So here's the idea. My idea is either a we spend some money, buy some drones. Or you guys are thinking maybe hacking into the satellite system and seeing if their their reach can even cover these gas giants. Uh, yeah, first. Hold on. Well, a I'm just saying it's I either thought, that or we I spend thought. one and a half million credits on drones. With that, I uh, I close my eyes. I use my wafer jack to hit the local internet. Um. To get a layout of the the star system that we're in, how far away these gas giants are, their their orbital little rotation, or where we're at, and then I regurgitate that to everybody, um, and see. All right, guys. Uh, I don't really know what all of that means, but from your guys's knowledge, would Highport have sensors to be able to scan those gas giants? including the dark sides of them because maybe we could get away with just hacking into the or paying somebody or manipulating somebody to get the, the high ports sensors and then maybe supplementing them with uh, just one purchase of drones i to be truthful i'm not even sure how like restricted this kind of information is depending on the planet this I mean, this could be hacking into something, or this could be, like, an informational Google search. Yes, I, I was actually thinking along those same lines. So, there's got to be, I'm not, that doesn't have to be, it's just going to be up to the system if it's public, public information on incoming and outgoing traffic, pretty much. It's safe to assume the system has got scanners tracking who's... Who's coming Getting in and the out? Gas giants. Yeah, well, maybe not the gas giants, but at least they, they're going to know system traffic in and out of the system. There's probably going to be a more of a web going all the way around the solar system than actually around the planets. We should tap into that. And that, yeah, and that's just that way they're. It's got to be a self-preservation. You know what I mean? If you get a, mm -hmm. if if a fleet of sixteen. Uh, Aslan ships come in system that gives them technically days to prepare. I know we fast right. forward when we get in a high port or high guard and go to a system, but under M drive, it's not it's not instantaneous. <laughs> yeah, so you I, can jump in and it still take us like two days to get yeah to high port or whatever. Yeah, I suspect a a a, a system with a class A star port. And a tech level, or pretty decent, not great, but a tech level nine. I mean, it's it's good. Um, are monitoring incoming and outgoing traffic in their system. Now they may not they may not be specifically monitoring the gas giants and other planetary bodies in the system, especially because you guys are you guys kind of hit it. You, where where this system is at, it could be the third planet from the sun. 
and a gas giant is the fifth planet from the sun, but it's on the other side of the sun, and you're totally blacked out from it yeah. right now, depending on yeah, rotation, uh, so. yeah, not every, not everything goes in sync around the the orbit there, so I don't have a good method to to randomize where a system's current planetary body bodies are at. You mean you don't have a table for that? Mad Beard Man. Yeah, well, yeah. John Brazier Enterprises. Yeah. Um, like I said, statistically, if it's three planets, it's your center area is going to be near the center of the core. Probably a little above the sun or above the rotational spin, you know, the rotational it's like a, a plane. orbit of the planets. Yeah. Yeah, that is funny. So, question though, in that and all those cool wikis and all that stuff, does it have like for each one of these planets a grouping of the solar system that's right there? Does it have? Oh, hey, there's there's three gas giants in this in this system, two Plutos and one Uranus. Uranus. Uh, it's listed. It does list. It says three gas giants and six other worlds. Just very specific, considering, yeah. you know, it's like it, it, it kind of almost puts uh, the DM, the ref, in a cage, you know. Yeah, it does. Like, so I guess it, on a D six, where the planets are placed. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, I don't know if we have to go down that. We I'll wait until we get a more defined plan, or if if it really the plan does the plan depend right. on where the position of the planets are right now? Is that where we're at? I guess it, yeah. I guess it also depends on a couple other things too, like how quickly is their communications? Because like I'm leading, I'm hoping that maybe they're advanced or better. Because yeah, because we because our end goal though is to try to see when this guy jumps into system and figure out which gas giant he is going to. So we can try yes. to cut him off before he gets to the gas giant. And we're, from experience, we know that it's going to take him a couple hours to scoop and then at least 24 hours Process. for him to refine yeah. before he can jump again. And I'm guessing, you know, from talking with Jonathan, that the nanites are not going to let him jump with unrefined fuel. That would be dangerous. It's open knowledge, though, you guys, that we'll know when and... Where he jumps in. Uh, the, the, but I mean, that's that's what I gotta decide. Does it doesn't necessarily mean that. Yeah, but does he know anyone's chasing him? No, probably not. Even if he does, is he trying to but cover that, his tracks? Because it doesn't seem like it. To me, it seems like he like whatever that thing is right now. It is favoring speed over caution. Yeah, but I still, I still. No, think I agree with the like, refined yeah, fuel thing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. If if you're doing the calculations, your chances of screwing up with unrefined on a jump, I think you would take the time. Would your nanites jump on unrefined? No, but they might skirt other things. Get the hell out of here! They might not. They like, might try and not refine the, the whole fuel if okay, they're not. I don't know if that's, an entire, oh, that's a good point. Get, get the hell out of here, or uh, if they're not a whole jump away. <laughs> There's an actual fucking oh, deal for that's crazy. it. That's this is the same. These are the ones where you do the random fantasy name generator from. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Lucky there. Set planets. So what did I have? Six planets, two gas, six, and one six, habitable. I mean, it's total nine. Yeah, yeah. nine. And what, what site are you using right now, boss? Rollforfantasy.com. Rollforfantasy.com. Appreciate yeah. you. And even if I click on it, it tells me... Hospitable, deadly, dangerous, unstable, unsafe, very dangerous, hostile, unsafe, moderate. What it doesn't do is give me the uh, the top. Well, maybe this will. 
What is what the hell is this surface map? I think it's so human of us to assume that centrifugal force and gravity behave the same everywhere. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Earth is the only thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> God. I can really, I can use this website, website if, if I wanted, wanted to make a, make a system, system for every system. Every system. Believable. Believable. Look at that. You just found a new tool to help uh, make your traveler games that much more. That much is more really in depth. cool, actually. Especially with groups that just like to do random shit sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not, you know, not us or <laughs> that. You know. Yeah. No, we're, we follow the module, baby, right down the beaten path. That's the cool, cool thing about traveler. traveler. It's, uh, uh, it's just, it's just all, all adventures are just, just a framework. framework. There's, There's no, no uh, linear. linear. Well, really, really into it. Uh, there's not a paragraph that says you're supposed to go wipe out a planet with 100 billion people. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> not, that's, that's not in there. Um, I, I, would I would say the physical, physical copy of these books, books are, like are like 25 pages or something, pages or something like that of the adventures. adventures. But we, we, we end, end up spending months, months playing, playing them like they're like a D&D hardcover. hardcover. <laughs> they're phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I love it. I like it being yeah. open ended. Cause you got a good group that loves to RP. Yeah, yeah. We love playing this up. So what do we decide? Do we need to buy some drones, or are we gonna, or do we think the? I think we should try to hack it first. Solar systems watching its own thing. Uh, bartender, bartender. Hacking is good. Uh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, just the wait, cheapest just, route. Yeah, waiters. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, yeah. We need um purple flipper wings. I need two purple flippers. Purple Zwerple. Uh we need a jump drive calamari. Yes. Um he needs some nuts and bolts. I point at Jonathan. Uh Carl could definitely take some uh you got some soil? Maybe does he what what is, what does Carl eat? Fingers. Like soil? Kevin. Kevin. Oh. Oh, Carl, Kevin, Kevin, Carl. I get them, you know, Kevin doesn't have a mouth. Oh, they were cousins. <clears throat> So that's why I said some soil. You just put him like in a little planter, put him up there, you know. Like, do you squirt? Ask him? the bartender, could you just bring, like, do you have like a little solar that's lamp? That's why I was going right to UV light. Or a glass of blood? Right. Yeah. Ooh. Like, for you or Kevin? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that's for both, said, for both so, probably. I'm just going to say here? it's probably for both. Ooh, a rock pile of ale. I've not had one of those in a while. Last time I drank Rock Pala, uh, mm. it may be a long night, Lean. Do they have brandy? Uh, they have brandy, but do they have wings? Damn it! I we, the last five times we've stopped, they have not had wings. That one place said they were wings, but I swear they were frog legs. I mean, lots of planets have things. Yeah, with perhaps wings. they were flying, flying frogs. <clears throat> oh, here's the neat table. <laughs> this is the name of the table. This feels like a uh, game show. Things stuck in the pipes after water refueling. <laughs> that sounds like uh, the beginning of aliens. one of the alien movies. That sounds movies. like aliens. Yeah. yeah. Survey says. Oh, I'm not. Sigourney <laughs> Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow, what have you been doing? <laughs> Damn it, Shadow. I didn't know it was you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Can't put him there. I told you that. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your mom. So, do we have any plans while we're at this bar? 
Yeah, we're coming up with them right now. You're probably trying to <laughs> oh. drug people. No, that's kind of like what I was asking. You know, that's mostly why. I was like, do we have like plans? Is there a thing I should be waiting for, or can I go up to the counter right now, pretend I'm at like looking for a drink and like drug a bunch of people? <laughs> drug people, I'm whatever. Fool. All right, yeah. go do that. Ah. Right, well, hey, I know we wanted to get. Hey, we'll make sure we get business business before there pleasure. You, go, Ken, do you have any idea what his hang up is with this? I think it's like. Is it all just, is it all just sentient, like sentient experimentation? I'm, o- yeah. I'm okay yeah. with it. I mean, he has no soul, so... I, I don't... How are you guys not okay with this? So, Jonathan... I didn't say I wasn't okay with it. Jonathan, I'm just curious. What, what is your... Uh, what pleasure do you get out of... Hmm. Um, chemically altering... Sentient being. <laughs> I mean, no, it's kind of amusing to me. <laughs> okay. Just uh, don't order any drinks for me. I- I'll get my own. But thanks. <laughs> no problem. All right, so you go on. A bunch of freaking coca in everybody's drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then just uh, randomly like, do that, that once or twice. Like that, I mean, if I can just access them. I guess I don't know. Let me try while we're here. This place have Wi-Fi. Yeah, there's there's system wide net, uh, public net. All right. Pull out the laptop and see if I can search ship registries. Yes. It's my expert tech level 13. Um, intelligence based. Uh, I get a plus one to this check. Excellent. So 12. Yeah. So you're, you'll be in. Let me answer uh, Jason though. So um, the, the only public information of ships coming in and out of system are those that are registered with passengers. What kind of ship did you take? Uh, far trader. Far trader. A passenger uh, ship. Yeah. So if there, there is a ship, if there's, it has a manifest, right? So if it enters system, and when you enter system, the uh, just simple information gets transmitted like a tech and device, right? Uh, as, if you're registered as a merchant or you know a passenger or freighter, so uh, it's just things. So that way, people that are expecting you know friends and family coming in system, it's it's coming up. So any any ship that's registered as a passenger ship comes in uh, on the on this public information. And it doesn't necessarily have to be real time either. Where what right. um, what what Sealand just did? Yeah, my video, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what Sealand just did is uh, different. You are tapped in. All right. So I'm checking the station sensors to see the range, depth, and um, abilities. Of them. Oh, and then oh yeah, yeah. The, oh, the sensors, right? Yeah, so the sensors are yeah, it's a it's a system wide blanket, um, but they're not going to get much information other than the sh- you know I'll get the ship's name and what it's registered as. Um, you will not; they are not scanning actively scanning each each planet in the system. Can I leave a? I guess I would have to ask Jonathan because he's going to be better at this than me. Um, leave a program that will send an alert uh, for when. Damn it, you! Yeah. Lord Gerald's fancy. 
jumps into set in the deal because that unless the nanites disabled the black box in it when it jumps in that ship registry should automatically ping just like our ship and all other ships it should yeah so can i leave a program right. and the sensors for when that when that ship jumps in to piggyback and ping me or the ship that that ship has jumped into sensor in its location yes i'll just need another computer check so this plus one Ooh, hey this guy just got <laughs> yeah all right so you have a you have a little some malware i guess yeah nothing to it i like it so at least you'll know when it's in system that's one step. Yep. And then, yeah. So while we're all talking and drinking, you know, I, Celine kind of sits back and everybody would think that she's just mind reading somebody's, but you hear like, Eek. Eek. oh, eyes flutter a little bit. Oh, man, I got used to that. Deck, what are you doing? Guess what? I just saved us one and a half mil creds. Nicely done. Right. I just spent a lot of money on these things. Purple thing flurples. Yeah. Purple flurples. You Ooh. should have several. I think I shot. I didn't realize this Wayfair Jack was going to make me so thirsty. And why do I taste copper? Weird side of careful, careful with Jonathan, though. He's. He's been kind of uh, over amplifying people's beverages. Did he use the high grade, mid grade, or low grade? I bet you he used that. Dr. Carl, he, did you give him the high, mid, or low? He didn't give me. That's all personal. I would. Ch Shadow, you. I knew it. You're, you're the dealer, aren't you, Shadow? Yep, that's it. I knew it. I seen you over. I seen you over at the corner of the bar talking to them shady individuals and some hands passing along. I'm but... just here drinking. Right. I'm just here to have a drink. Just <laughs> exactly. Distill the water. You know, what, oh. But I would, you know, what, but... what, 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 what did you find? Did you find out? Oh, I anything? I got the. I, I was able to get into the sh the the high port. Ooh, copper. I was able to get into the high ports uh, systems there, and I set a piggyback loop um, in their system to let me know that when uh, Lord Gerald's fancy at least jumps into system, um, so at least we have that much going for us right now, and there will be an oh, alert will be it. sent to me and to the Diamond Falcon, um, and with its at least trajectory for when it jumps in from there though the sensors don't do a continuous scan and they don't continually monitor all the other planets especially the gas giants because they're like they're not making any money off of that and i didn't he see any like pay stations when i was surfing their little deal um you know surprisingly enough it was kind of like digging through somebody's brain it was very very similar i kind of enjoyed it but this copper taste is ugh. Oof. Ooh, that purple shit is good. Give me two more. Told you. It's been a while since I've been anywhere that had them. Did they, did they have, like, tell me they had chicken wings. I was busy. Dak, did you give I me keep, some chicken wings? I keep looking they for did, They had flying flying frog legs was all they had. Uh, they, eh, I'll pretend. They're similar. They, they, they have been in flight. They were farmers, yeah. not genetic. Mm. I didn't yeah. get what I wanted. Um. So hell, we still we still gotta keep an eye out on the gas. Yeah. I better. I should probably find Jonathan. I need a little bump. Yeah. I got you covered. I, Jonathan, I think I had too many beverages. I might need. What do you have? Um, I need you to straighten me out a little. 
I have a red one. People get really <laughs> hyper when they take that one. I got a purple one. That one I gave to a guy, but then we had to leave the bar early, so I'm actually not 100% sure better, what that one better does. Not, better not. But that. that being said, those four guys over there, at least two of them have that. So just think about that for later. Ah, uh, okay. I better stick with the the flurple perp. And then this one, I don't know. Here's a pink one. Everyone seems to like that one. It's called. Slurry. Now you just keep experimenting, Jonathan. Have a good time. I, I'm gonna go back and have another beverage. Will do. Ah, uh, we need to make, we need a way, we need money. We need to make money. Yeah. <laughs> yes to both? Yes. <laughs> okay, you got I'm it. No, I'm in no condition. Jonathan, Jonathan, come here. We need to, What's up? We, we need, I don't have a lot of cargo space, but see if you can find us somebody to... Some good things to fill our our four tons of cargo space. With that, guys, um, I might be back. <laughs> Toodles. As you see Celine kind of get up and saunter her little four foot three <laughs> self. Over you know, to this tall drink of water, naval officer, and kind of just walk right up to him, and, and you don't hear the conversation because I'm away from you guys. Um, I'm gonna roll streetwise. That was the failure, and I'm gonna say if there was anybody in this bar that had said potential products. They may or may not already be under the effects of supplements. Next time, in fairness, ask me before I drug a whole bunch of a room full of people. So as as Jonathan's carrying on, Deck has basically ordered that last drink that you never need. Oh, man. <laughs> and has, has just kind of slid down into his chair. But he's still holding his beverage up. And just is done. It was a good idea at the time. It seemed like a great idea. You always need one more. Yeah. <clears throat> I made sure to eat, Deck, as I point back and laugh at him and hear me across the bar. <laughs> That's why I got the wing. I look over. Shadow! Yeah, come, come over here. Meet my friends. Come on. And then, hey, guys, I want you to meet my friend Shadow. Like, an amazing person. He was a hobo when we first met. <laughs> Still a hobo. It's fine. Amazing. <laughs> amazing, though. Like, skills you wouldn't believe. Like, what kind of skills? I'm yelling this across the bar so I can't hear you. <laughs> Unskilled skills. Unskilled skills. <laughs> I just heard that there is a hobo over there that needs murder, and I'll be back, fellas. <laughs> it's sitting at the table with you. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sir. Would you like to go outside and participate in a recreational <laughs> drug? <laughs> Potentially in the alley over there. I think I, I think I'm gonna stick to the. I don't know. What are we drinking? To the purple I can't I'm drinking the brandy. Yeah. <laughs> He's reeking the ale. The, the rock, rock pale, 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 pale ale. ale. Rock pale ale. Yeah. That's it. That's what I'm drinking. No drugs. I'm sipping on. I'm sipping on some brandy. All right. Telepathy. I'm gonna push this guy's emotions. Well, first, I'm going to carouse this. Officer, see if I can't get any information out of him before I get drunk. Mm -hmm. Who who he is, what they're doing here, what's going on. 
Have they heard any rumors about a treasure ship gone missing? <laughs> Do they know yes, anything they... about the passengers? Oh, yes and yes. So the uh, oh. they are the third Imperium. You know, they're send, they regularly send out the treasure ships out of fist, right? And they patrol, f- and the Imperium patrols the borderland, right, from fist all the way up to the Aslan Hirates uh, borders. They, uh, they are, despite the the broken government here, they're happy uh, as long as the uh, Class A starport is open for business. They want to make sure that trade is flowing uh, between the two the two superpowers here. Uh, so they're they're part of a normal patrol. Now they have heard about the uh, Martin Three going missing. Uh, that is actually a hot topic now in this whole region of space. Mm. And there is no word yet on where it disappeared to. They think it had a misjump and may not have come out of the uh, the wormhole. They have uh, there's some conjecture. Yeah, conjecture that it's written either written off as a loss, or the uh, the the wormhole was so massive that it's gonna you know it'll never never come back. Oh, and then I follow up with you. Well, that's such a shame. I mean, a treasure ship gone missing as such. I hope there was no like important people on that ship. Uh, people didn't matter. It was the peace treaty. Oh, now you have my utmost attention. Yeah, you guys do remember that, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a peace treaty that was to be signed uh, between some deals, which makes yeah. me and my mind happy that it didn't get where it needed to go. Uh, so then, after that, uh, yeah. I ask him where are they, uh, where he's staying, if he's got a hotel room or if they're, his lodging is on the ship. Oh, yeah, they, I'm sure there's, there's a sh- they have a ship here. I, I haven't rolled it out yet. But but, yeah, no, well, then yeah. if he's going back to ship, then he can, we can either go to a hotel room or he can go back to his ship on his own. The choice is his. Oh, checking up. Hey, fun, I've uh, heard that in my mind. <laughs> I've been out to space for a while now, stuck with you fucks and none of you. I'm sorry, cut, cut the mustard. <laughs> and if he's not willing to pay for one, I'm going to push his emotions to make him pay for one. I'm sure. I'm sure he can. A, a cell phone or a PDA or some device of the like. Yeah, combat. Yeah. I'm assuming it's like encrypted, not like open or some sort like that. Exactly. Yeah, it's the close, closer. It's a com dot just for all the other um, people of his ship. So, like, how do those com dots like operate? Is it like, a, I mean, because like you say, like it's a modern day cell phone. Say it rings through. Yeah. And you can just answer it, but also if you want to do something, you, know, you got to put in your fingerprint, and then now all of a sudden it's open. How's well, yeah, the com dots are actually, they do more than just communicate. But, I mean, it's really up to you, me what how they really work. But let me give you the com dot would... information. So, com dots, um, sorry, Frank, come on up. They're definitely not single channel plain text. Yeah. They're uh, frequency hop. That's not actually what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is to just like hijack, uh, basically hijack and hijack his device and just man in the middle is just shit shit, shit. tap his shit yeah so yeah so com- yeah combats they're they're just short range communicators um uh, the inter- the interface with other communication devices and and relays so the thing is with a they have to be using for it to be a planet wide there has to be a relay for it otherwise they're just short range almost bluetooth fish so that what i mean they would be connected to the ship yeah, they'd, they'd probably be able to generate enough the broadcast. Yeah, the, the yeah broadcast. The radio right. frequency on that would be pretty significant. But it'd be encrypted, but it'd be traceable. I guess my thing is, is doesn't at some point he has to provide his key, right? He has to unencrypt it. He has to answer the phone call. He has to get into it uh-huh. in some way that wow. he has to 
put that in are, his password. That or it's always open, right? You know, I don't. I would think. Well, being a radio freak, it would it would probably have a, a oscillating radio frequency that would change. I mean, we have that technology today, and that's just considering you know the world that we're playing in. That would be basic technology. So a radio yeah, freak, but... you know. But you're, t- that, you're... And they, Go ahead. Yeah, but you're thinking like a physical security to 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 open up just like a cell phone. You put in a passcode yeah, or your I'm, thumb thumb driver. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I'm, what he's I'm thinking. I'm not worried but... about hacking his phone if I can get him to somehow unlock it, his device. Well, com dots are literally I mean, just little dots you just push and answer. Yeah, they're just in your ear. They're just, they're just like cool, the cool uh, people wearing the Bluetooth piece. Yeah. So I just need him to answer a phone call. Yeah, I, I would I would say it's just the biometric is is. I would think it would be non-existent personally. But yeah, I, mean, I don't say I can't imagine it being anything. Yeah. Okay. It's just it's, really I'm just trying to jump one of my nanites from his her body over to his body, and I wasn't sure if I could decrypt it. But a physical key logger necessarily doesn't have to decrypt anything. I just don't know how that technology works. I'm trying to hack it. I just don't know like what my avenue is. Well, I was trying to social engineering. That's why I was trying to hoping like if I don't have to hack the password, if I could somehow convince him to input the password. Yeah, no, your nano bugs though, they could I mean they listen. And your nano Yeah. So just put it so in. So whenever 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 it's open, you, you can hear it. it's like there's gotta be proximity though. Yep, boom, okay. I'm gonna jump like one of my bugs to his combat. I think I'm gonna start electroshock therapy again. Maybe that'll fry his bugs. <laughs> Chance, but go for it. I mean, hurt yourself. Hey, I, I don't kink shame me. <laughs> I did. I said go ahead and do what you want to do. You're but the an tone adult you said it with was very, very shameful. You are allowed to have whatever kink you want. <laughs> it's not a- <laughs> Right now, my kink is a fucking naval officer because I'm this alone. Man, I so, no quit trying to bug his ear. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely should not have drank so much. <laughs> <laughs> is there any female officers nearby? I'm sure there are, yeah. All right. I'm going to start pushing on some emotions there to, to find um, good old Shadow very attractive. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah. This is where we're at in the night. <laughs> this is where we're at in the night. Everybody's playing wingman. <laughs> yeah. Carl's over there just munching away. We've got like fucking, fours left in the bar. Watching you guys, this is fun for me. <laughs> I like watching human interaction. Normal, normal human uh-huh. interaction. That's right. I love normal human interaction. Because I'm a human. <laughs> and, yeah, you're probably, you're probably wearing a t-shirt that says normal human. <laughs> the little arrow that t-shirt. points up. <laughs> I like it. Damn it, I'm gonna have we to should make that myself, t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm gonna take my time so this way I lower the DC. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna work one of the female. And hell, I don't know what Shadow likes. I'm gonna work one of the males too. Hey, as long as they're fours and above. Oh, yeah, no, I would not do that to any of my fucking crew members. That's just wrong. they got to be at least a six. Six. At least. Above the yeah. average. You got the beer goggles oh, on, his, so. His, yeah. his <laughs> six is a, They're all tense now. Mm-hmm. His they six is a high three, so you're good. <laughs> I, li- I live in I live in a binary world. It's just yes. Uh-huh. It's, it's... <laughs> one one zero zero one zero one one zero zero one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> it's the most it's a lot of ones. Let's see. Yes, the time does look correct for you. <laughs> Yeah, I push on some emotions, see how Shadow reacts. Um, I'm not been honestly drinking that much um, for two reasons. One, I have uh, I don't want to get sloppy drunk. My powers get really weird when I get drunk. That drunk and I'm in public, and I don't I do. like to use them. Um, you know, 
but it's kind of frowned upon in some some circles. Uh, but at the same time, if something pings in my head, fucking, I want to be sober enough to rally the troops to get back to the ship because we got a space vampire to kill. Yeah. But that's how Celine spends the rest of the night. Remind Dick that tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, Shadow, I bring um, a couple of people back over to the table there, and we're all sitting down and conversating, and two of them really seem into you. Two. Yeah, one male and one female. Now <laughs> yeah, now what am I supposed to do? What I'm going with whatever one buys me the drinks. That's a ref call. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Going with the free free drinks. Yeah. Oh man. Gonna roll for yeah, it. Yeah, go. Yeah, go ahead and uh, carouse or unskilled. All right, hang on. Oh. So what are we doing? Oh, did I click the wrong one? No, you did. Hang on, that's oh, survival. survival. Oh, snap. I oh, clicked just, the wrong so one. What is it, minus two from that? Mm -hmm. uh, depends oh, if it's on skill. It'd four. be minus it'd be, uh, one than that. Minus four. All right, can I go again? Are you ready? Yeah. Just click the right button. Survival could be Hell great. yeah. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one you're meeting. Wow. There you go. Excellent. Nice. nice. Almost the same thing. What? There you go. Success. What am I successful <laughs> at? <laughs> both of them are your, buying you drinks equally. That's the, both of them? Are buying you okay. drinks yeah. equally. Yeah. Oh, so you get the crowds on. Everybody's yeah. buying We're drinks. Both. Dang. Shit, we don't That's judge good. on this ship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not willing to role play this one up verbally. <laughs> The doctor just wants to watch. <laughs> and now there's four of you. All right. That makes me feel hey, all going home. No. <laughs> no, it's hard. Go. I'm a little disappointed that the doctor cabins. didn't hook, hook me up and get me sober, man. That's gonna Is be that an option? Good. That's a what? thing. Well, sobering up or all carry, I do I have this know. powder. It's new. Ooh. <laughs> it's been known to sober people up. It's also got some side effects. You might need it very often. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just envisioned, like, Ugly. Deck waking up at the table, still drink in hand, unspilled, and we're all gone. Exactly right. <laughs> and they're waking him up. Oh, that'd be, be wrong. Like, yeah. closing. That's perfect, actually. I like it. I said, I'll just wake up and like look around, and they're like sweeping the <laughs> floors. <clears throat> and and Dex like, ah, oh, damn it, did it again. <clears throat> so, ref, it sounds like we all have a merry night in our own it's, unique way. Yeah, say so we gonna can we can we can we fade the scene yeah, to black and yeah, start in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, please. You guys want to hear my notes? I got, I got some, I got, I got, I got your messages, Jonathan. So, oh, that's great. So if you put a little bit of slow drug in the air, it intensifies everything. Oh, atomize it, just missed it. <laughs> so Kevin's just going around farting, then, huh? <laughs> I'm mean, working on that. Yeah. So Kevin yeah, so just you, like reduces the drug. I get to see Doctor Carl just huffing Kevin's <laughs> ass. <laughs> oh, you need a diaper change. Uh, oh, you're good, buddy. <laughs> boof in that little. The colors are so vivid. <laughs> oh, yes. <it's... laughs> so the fart sniffers. Oh, God. I always heard it was more effective when you take it that way. 
So uh, in the morning on the calm down, I'm like, hey, uh, hey does this place have a falafel house? Uh, <laughs> I need some food. <laughs> Let's all meet up at the... Roll us another name, boss. Well, I, I, well, I got oh, something okay. for you guys. I got a little, right. a little, little, little hook for you. Because we, uh, you have, you have two options. We could, we could spend a week and fast forward, see what happens, or you do a little side job. What do you guys side say? Job. Side job. Yeah. Side, side job. job. All right. As you guys are recovering in the galley of the, the Diamond Falcon, the. Uh, Proverbial doorbell rings outside. <laughs> Damn it, Jonathan! What'd you order this time? Hit, hit a button. Uh, hit a button. You know. Oh, I this wasn't is, there. Uh, Celine, uh, Captain of Diamond coffee. Falcon. Uh, who are you, and what the fuck do you want? I'm a uh, representative of Baroness Lux. God damn it! Hold, hold, please. All right. Uh -huh. Who's Baroness Lux? I don't know, but it's Baroness in front of the name, so there's money. Deck, deck. Is this, deck is, I could just see this. Is it is like the galley? Is this gonna look like you know, like you know, nineteen eighties like white snake concert uh, post? Like just twenty people in a hotel. Yeah, yeah it, just, <laughs> it just yeah, it just smells like yeah, sex. People laying everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Kevin's we're good, we're good, Kevin's we're good. over there making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan's over there taking notes, slowly injecting people that are passed out. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I go over there, put at least like a sh... No, I go naked. <laughs> I'm doing what I like to call give and take. Like, go up to one victim... Take a little blood. Go up to like another victim, like I don't like Kevin. <laughs> give it a little blood, then take a little bit of Kevin, and then go give it to somebody. Else. It's give and take. It's you know, it's all about yeah. Butt ass naked, standing there at the doorway, lower the ramp. Are you <laughs> sweet? <laughs> all right. Um. <laughs> the 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 woman standing at the ramp uh, takes everything in and shudders, um, and she says, um, "I understand you guys uh, might be, um, be for hire to transport <laughs> medical goods. Is that correct? I heard you guys. Eat She's so confused. <laughs> Stand up with the like hypodermic <laughs> needle still in my hands." We love medical supplies. Walk out in just my doctor's robe. I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> he made them point to the kitchen where all the chemicals are like randomly getting food. Yeah, well, yeah, once yeah, once making like uh, eggs and bacon, making coffee, coffee, the yeah. Song, um, Men in Black. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> um. Yes, we're we're always in the the realm of making money and hauling supplies. Um, as you see, though, my ship doesn't have much cargo space. Uh, exactly, what is it that your uh, deck? <coughs> deck, wake up! Come here. Come, come here, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, do you want breakfast, Kevin? Um, Another place. So yes. Uh, well, we just go ahead. I have a ton. We have a we have a small cargo of one ton of high value medical equipment that needs to go to a landing site close to the baronial capital. Um, you know we're willing to pay a slightly better than reasonable fee uh, as long as the uh, security and discretion is applied. Oh, discretion is definitely implied, girl. You don't gotta worry about that. Uh, she, we, she looks around we again. Can definitely accommodate that. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, You'll see my quartermaster here. He'll work up the contract and the other deal. Um, I got to pee. I turn around and head off to the latrine. Yes, yeah, so what kind of uh, rate were you thinking of? And I'm assuming that you've got a contact for us on the receiving end, that this is not just going to anywhere okay. out in the open 
No, they're waiting for it. It was delivered last night at the high port by our merchant. Uh, we just need to get planet side. Oh sure, yeah, we can we can do that. No problems. So uh, I'm supposed to give you guys a slightly better than reasonable fee. That's all my note <laughs> says. So <laughs> I'm just gonna look at the flat rate. So it's reasonable. It should at least tells you what the reasonable price is. I don't know. But my thing is, I I give away too much money nah, out if I just do it, do it, do it, do it from the hips. Nah, so. never, never, never. never. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, the last campaign <clears throat> we earned that in our rolls. <laughs> yeah. So this is, it'll be counted as a, as a uh, major cargo, even though it's one ton, at one one uh, parsec. <clears throat> Which is I don't know if that's even good to you guys anymore. To be oh, honest, it's good because um, we got to pay for last night, and I got to pay for cleaning to get the ship cleaned out. All right, everybody, get the fuck up, get out. Well, that snow's never coming out. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you put it on any of your accounts? Like, weren't we with somebody? Wasn't there somebody that was paying yeah. for this? No, this, we're back in the ship. We we brought the party back to the ship. We was gonna go to the hotel room. And then I said I had an Aslan attack oh. vessel, and then the Navy boys were like, ooh, and next thing you know, it's an orgy on the fucking kitchen table. Damn Navy guys. You enjoyed it? There was Navy people, okay? Navy personnel. God. Whatever. There was a bunch of so semen all over the 86? kitchen table with you. I was going to clean all that up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I jarred all that up. So Dan tells her we'll do it for 12. Okay, yeah, I'm still trying to find the... I don't remember how we used to do this. God, this is painful to read. All right, uh, passenger. I got I got a calculator <laughs> built. So oh, I see. A major, a major is without any modifiers. Um, majors eighty six hundred. Okay. Uh, that'll do. So t so what do we need? Tell me what I need to know. Let's Who see. do I need to meet? Oh. Right. Uh, this is a little it's a little abstract, but um you guys are gonna go down to planet side and um I'm gonna give you a representative's name real quick. It's gonna have to abstract be one it's just a drop off. Yeah. Yeah. At, yeah, it's just a drop off. You know, you don't need to know names. Discretion is okay. is kind of the key. Hey, like that meme I dropped, um fast, legal, and what was the other one? Yeah. Choose two of the three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Fast, cheap, legal? Pick two. I think legal's got to be uh, in there. So fast. <laughs> so fast and legal. Because I'm not cheap. So we're fast and legal, which means we're going to be expensive. Which we are pretty expensive for this little planet hop. I mean, we're jumping from high port, going down. We're still paying for the day. If they try to charge us again, Deck, I swear to God, I'm going to blow up somebody's brain. Might be yours. I mean, you know, I paid for two days. Yeah, we'll be all right. All right. So after the uh, the, the drop off, uh, you guys do receive a com message with an invite to Baron and Lux's estate. Uh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. like that. All right, so um, check the web, see what's the local fashion since we don't have that cool computer anymore. What time? How much time prep time oh. do we have? Jonathan, no drugging. It's for dinner. Din it's yeah, dinner. You're invited over for dinner. Right. Local fashion. Here it comes. I got a table for that. Got it. No drugging the Baroness at dinner. Until after, dis after discussions. Business first. Uh, uh, 
power gauntlets and shoulder spikes. (laughs) 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 The table shall rule. Oh, wow. (laughs) Yeah, order me some uh, power gauntlets and uh, shoulder spikes from Wamazon. Um, (laughs) With a a nice... uh, dress to go with it and then also search the uh web do i gotta roll computers or is this basic for any information on this baroness i gave you some basic information without getting too far into it uh baroness lux lux l-u-x um residences like other bar- baronial halls that you find on you know the the wikipedia uh, they're fortified structures with a restricted zone where only household citizens live beyond its walls. The ordinary subjects go about their daily lives in what appears to be a content manner. Um, let's see. What else do you need to know about Lux? How old is her family? Um, standing? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm getting there. So Baroness Lux is, an ex- is extremely popular with her people. Enjoying overwhelming support due to recent actions. This is part due to her relationship of a or her relationship, her leadership of a campaign to dislodge Aslan Ihati from areas near her holdings, and partially due to what amounts to be bribery. Uh, she is known to be able to provide uh, tech level nine goods and machinery to her subjects and is uh, popular for that, particularly hospitals. And and population centers. So that's probably what you were delivering. So she is a woman of the people. Uh, So she has increased the quality of life uh, for their subjects since displacing the Ahati. Um, Quick math that Deck can do. uh, You know, what she's doing uh, is not sustainable financially. The cost of maintaining these facilities beyond the modest budget of, uh, you know, this planet. Any any baronial house uh, is pretty much out of out of reach. So, um, so I grab Celine and I'm like, I, she's trying to do the right thing here, and not and not unwilling to make a good profit when she can. But this business model she's got is just not sustainable. So she's MC hammering it. Uh, yeah, but you know. She, so this may be a good ally for the king. Favors. 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 And, and she's willing to do the things that we may need done later. So we got to play nicey-nice. So princess persona think, or yeah. noble grin persona? Sorry, this is the uh, family crest. Noble Blaine persona. Got you. Um, all right. So pull everybody to the table and every, and I'm, I don't know why, but I just envision like after we kick everybody out, the Kevins are cleaning and doing things and like, it doesn't look like we had a fucking banger in the galley last night. Uh, all right, crew. So we got to go meet this Baroness. We got to put on our Mizzoon's face for this one. Yep. So, and I mean, we, you know, we just got to tell her, hey, what you saw this morning was us playing a role. We're hunting somebody for the king, blah, 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 blah. So we're keeping a low profile, hanging out in the dregs last night. Messing with the Imperium because we like to. Yep. We definitely got video of all of that, too. So if we ever come across them officers again, we blackmail. Uh, In my own personal enjoyment. So I guess we spend the rest of the day getting uh, cleaned up, sobered up. um, In the right attire. And rent a... mm, High middle, cl- high low class vehicle to take us from the ship to there, or should we just go high class, high class? 
What do you think, Dak? I mean, I think it needs to it needs to give her the message that we've got the money to spend, but not really draw attention to ourselves. Because the if the story we're spending is, hey, we were we were on the lowdown doing business. So we'll go. Well, we'll enter you know, the high not, class bracket, but the lowest tier of it. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Right. Yeah. So we rent us uh, a proper, get us the proper clothes, make sure that we're sober uh, and fed because, you know, these, these formal dinners serve bullshit. Um, no, do we take Kevin? Dr. Carl? Do you want to take a Kevin? No. All right. Again, Jonathan, drugging people after we know what's going on. <laughs> I try. No experiments until the shadow. Later. Yes, you actually have to like go hit the showers and like you know put these nice clothes on. I have nice clothes from Mizun from back in the day when I, you first adopted me. Oh, nice. Okay. So yeah, um, we spend the rest of the day getting ready, making the the reservations and things needed, and we head to the Baroness's uh, holdings. Yeah, going heading over yep. for dinner. You're taking a nice uh, yep. Uber. The black, yeah. Hopefully, we're gonna take the Escalade, week. but we're not going to take the Escalade Denali. I got you. right. They better have chicken wings. I swear to God. You're killing me because I can stay in the chicken. <laughs> <Yeah. right>, <clears throat> right. Okay. Cool. I, I was just reading some background information before you go do this. So heading into the estate, this is a large like complex. Um, yeah, like think of like a Federalist style building, just like cement, kind of boring AF, but fortified. Um, three-story building. Um, most of this this planet is a water planet. If I was that Corden or is that Newman? Oh, Corden, I, I got Corden, so Corden confused. Water. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, you know, this is going to be on you know on a uh, you know on an oceanfront view on a cliff overlooking you know you know beautiful nice. surroundings, and then and, you know and then the peasants are in the fields doing their thing, as they should be. Fucking serfs. Mm-hmm. Man, I wish I had a, I wish I had a table for food. God, I, I was certain I had one too. Anyway, so coming in, you guys are greeted with you know you got the uh, the fanfare of some you know butlers and maids and people taking your jackets and hats. And you're escorted uh, from the foyer to the uh, dining room where Baroness Lux. I don't have a picture of her. Let me see if I got something that was embedded somewhere else. L-U-X. Ah, I don't even have a record. Uh, She greets you guys, uh, thanks you for coming for dinner and delivering the medical supplies. It's very important to her that, uh, you know, her people... Uh, are are receiving the care that they need. Uh, she says, and, 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 oh, so, go ahead. Uh, the pleasure was ours, Baroness. Uh, thank you for reaching out to such a small outfit as ourselves to handle a, <laughs> an important mission as the such. And thank you for the pay, too. It was very generous. Yeah, I, I have a favor to ask of you. That's why I brought you here. And as you guys are, you know, getting food and drink she just gets straight to business um there used to be more barons on cordon they met with misfortune uh with misfortune of various sorts uh first the aslan ihati bad luck and conflict between the barons have whittled their number down to three uh she suspects that there are two two of the three remaining barons are colluding to destroy her um and she's hoping uh, you guys seem to be, you know, some discreet off-worlders and you're not part of the Imperium, uh, that you, you could help prevent any unfortunate sets of circumstances uh, that may befall her. Um, f- 
for as long as you're here. Um, she'll permit you guys to use her private landing field whenever you like. Um, and, and she says, you know, and if, uh, you know, if, if, uh, nothing bad happens to me and the, maybe the two other barons are, are knocked down a notch or two, uh, we could help, uh, I'll help you guys reclaim an old bar baronial hall once occupied by our minor rival. You guys could maybe set up a small estate there. Uh, in short, you'll become a minor nobles here on Corden uh, if you're able to help me. Yeah. All right, so tell tell telepathically speaking to Deck, I scraped fucking right. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's what I was right, thinking. Um, so, but my persona out is, you know, the very noble, very, um, deal. Well, Baroness, your, your offer is very astounding and very gracious. Uh, but one thing I need to know before me and my crew decide to, to take you up on this offer is how long are you needing us to watch your back? Or are you asking us to be proactive or reactive? Uh, yes, uh, she steeples her fingers when you say that. She says, well, since we're on the topic, uh, we can't do anything overtly. Um, you know, we don't want to ferment uh, d dissent amongst <laughs> my subjects. Uh, but my rivals, if you're able to maybe sabotage their military assets, um, I know that their subjects uh, look longingly at the way my subjects live and would like to live with us. Uh, so maybe if uh, might be a gamble there, but maybe uh, you might be able to uh, what's the word? yeah rabble rouse, kind of get a revolt. Oh, uh, Baroness, you have definitely found the right individual for that. But before we agree, though, I must confer with my crew in private, for you see, we are a democracy on my ship, and though I speak for us a lot, I cannot make any decision without the consensus of my fellow crew members. You can understand this, can you not, ma'am? I can. I'm going to, I'll, uh, I'll retire to the parlor. Uh, you come meet me there when uh, you guys come up with a decision. Thank you, Baroness, for your understanding and appreciate your graciousness and this fine uh, meal you have presented us. We will be with you shortly, ma'am. We should still talk telepathically. Yeah, I'm going to, <laughs> except for we got to like, <laughs> I can't talk to Jonathan. Well, fuck him then. Right. Like, he's just going to sit there and stare at us like, what are you guys doing? Like, I thought we were going to talk about this. <laughs> All right. Well, I have been trained in the ways to be able to at least still talk to you all <laughs> mentally, but yet carry a conversation verbally that has not has the many, many details. Um, so at least in my mind, when I'm speaking to each of you, and you guys can answer in your mind, um, I have many skills and experiences seeding dissent amongst individuals um, to overthrow their their leadership. What I'm saying aloud is, though, is that to, to perform something like this, there's going to be a lot of information that needs to be found, um, things that we'll have to, to hit on. I'm also speaking, though, what kind of money is this going to cost us? Because we are definitely going to have to pay a lot of people for for it to get done. And then, though, in our mind and aloud, though, I ask for what is your guys' opinion on this? Because this is something that you want to do while we wait for our space vampire. I don't say space vampire outside, but I, I say for our mark to, to show up in system. I'm I'm very excited. I think you know this gives us another barony possibly. I do wonder if we should 
get her to, um, you know, swear fealty to King Olub I, because I don't know, you know, yeah, we're going to go do this thing, but it's going to piss some people off. So at some point they may want to come back and take back over. Um, it, it'd be nice to have the king behind us as we kind of spread out to the to the planet here and her her too you know it gives, gives everybody a little extra comfort Jonathan what do you think I really have no dog in this fight this one here uh, sure let's either become heroes or uh, let them all burn I, I, I really I'm 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 either way. I we have a week to kill. Fuck it. Shadow. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm. We get a nice I'm house, down, Jonathan. I'm down to, you know, okay. do something while we're waiting. Doctor Carl. Well, yeah. We actually could have like the Zephyr flying and out of here, you know, and this be one of our trade hubs. Her, yeah, one of our trade hubs. Maybe she knows some people. I like it. Personally, I think it expands our network. I agree that it definitely expands I mean, that's true. Yeah. So we are in agreement to to do this then. All right. Well, then I say let us retire to the parlor and meet up with the Baroness. Let her know our decision. Uh, but there are definitely lots of details that we're going to need to know. Um, she wants us to incite one of the other two's uh, people to... To rise against, she said something about military targets possibly being hit. Uh, so we're going to need as much information from her as we can possibly get. I say that, um, Dak, at this point, you are better at negotiations. I definitely need to scan each of you, you know, look around, make sure, and I describe uh, Cyblocker technology to the best of my ability to them. Because uh, I definitely don't want to try to use my Psy abilities and then trigger an alarm as I uh, read her surface thoughts. And um, if there's any uh, specific individuals there with her, maybe the her main butler, her confidant, or someone else that is in the room. So, Deck, I will leave negotiations to you. Uh, is everybody in agreement and all right with that? This is all said in the head, but I look over at uh, Jonathan and being like, Nanite, sir. And uh, we retire to the parlor. Y'all following in? Yep. Here. I'm good. Yep. Okay. So what do you guys say? Real quick, though, before I say anything, recon of the room, just looking around, trying to be nonchalant. <laughs> I don't know what the difficulty was supposed to be, but still. Yeah. Uh, and again, so. I'm looking for um, hidden assassins, you know, Psy tech and like blocker uh, release alarms when I read her surface thoughts. Yeah, she should have some kind of side blocker on her, to be honest. Um, but if she does, then I would notice and I would not make that telepathy roll. <laughs> and uh, I would think the three barons would that that's that's a common like uh, practice of yeah. the nobility is to have side blockers. So. So, yeah. So she's got it, but does, like, say the butler or uh, an attendant no. standing by? No, we'll say, yeah, we'll say there's some attendants in here. They do not. Yeah, definitely probing those guys' brains um, while Deck is starting the negotiations of timeline, money that's needed. You know, Deck, Deck knows all that stuff to see what these guys' surface thoughts are because the help knows a whole hell of a lot more than what uh, people think most times. Yeah, maybe if one of them are, you know, maybe I might get lucky. One of these guys is actually working for the other barons. Well, oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> Let me write that down, I kinda, GM. <laughs> I, mean, I kind of tell her, 
hey, you know, we've got a relationship at Drynex that we could leverage as well. Um, does does she does she kind of think that just between her house and our house, thank you for our house, you know, we could we could control the system here, um, and and then ask her like what kind of intelligence she's got on these other two barons so we can try to find a weak spot. Or if there's a specific target that she wants us to get rid of, like a weapons manufacturing plant or, yeah, you know, a general or great warrior or something. Or which one of these two houses that she wants us to fuck with? When specifically, yeah. yeah. I should should talk about the two. What thing could we do to make it look like the other guy did it Mm -hmm. to get those two houses worn? Yeah. Uh, You're you're actually, you're you're picking up what I was going to lay down a little bit, but let me let me give you a little bit of information about Bar- Baron Firo and Baron Halley. Baron Firo is a uh, he's presently at the break of hostilities with Baron Halley um, over a border area that has been in dispute for years. Firo is moderately popular with people, and his barony is at present stable in both political and economic sense. Firo has the largest population base the three barons, uh, giving him a manpower advantage. Now, Baron Halley has an extremely well-fortified hall, which most people refer to as the castle. Um, He has access to tech level 9 manufacturing equipment, much like I do. Um, He has a slightly larger body personal guard than me. Despite this, he seems to have suffered a setback recently. I think that perhaps Halley has offended the Imperials and has been quietly admonished. His trade income is down, though his exports are much the same. Uh, this suggests to me that he has been hit with a tariff or simply offered a lower price for his goods. Since most of the ships, uh, most, since most of the ships, his bulk grain and foodstuffs are sold out to Imperials, this sits with the possibility he has done something to upset them. Now, I do have a plan uh, to cause an incident in the disputed area, which will spark an insurgency against one or both the Abarans. Uh, if their personal forces can be drawn in, so much the better. It'll impose a long-term cost effect. Um, maintenance, maintenance is high for the tech equipment to fight battles, especially since we only have access to tech level 9. Um, the two forces can be made to fight one another. That would be ideal. Uh, where I could just sit here quietly uh, and happily content uh, while you guys create this quagmire that neither can afford to withdraw from. So, all right, I'm telep- uh, telepathically saying this to Deck because he's in the one in the negotiations. So we're looking at a smear campaign, bombings, um, maybe some industrial espionage, and uh, definitely hitting back up those Navy boys that we had fun with last night. And gals. I'm glad you got them. And uh, seeing what information we could get from them on why that other house is failing and maybe push that issue even more let alone i still have all the recordings from the uh treasure ship gone missing maybe we can create some fake documents to make it look like he was somehow a part of it oh i like that dick's a little fuzzy in his mind about what what you meant when you pushed navy boys across his plate <laughs> like trying to remember but then he focuses back on the, the task at hand um, and then he's you know he's kind of thinking and he, he looks at, at her and we're, we're definitely game um, and it sounds like you know we'd be willing to to put some time and and things into it, but it sounds like there might be some funding needed. Do we have uh, do we have some taxes or some funding that could help sustain this action? Well, I, I think I have an elegant solution to, to keep this pretty low cost. Do you too. To, to incite this battle. She gives you a wry grin, and she says, well, the incident will be triggered by an assassination. I like this. 
and I think we could end it there. <laughs> I love it. Nice. Well done, ref. Well done. Right. Well I can done. Use my